good. Week 34. Wow, look at that. I remembered. Week 34, Tim 20. I was ripping up carpet at a neighbor's house. It was easy. 70-year-old carpet on top of 100-year-old tile. She used to hold down the tile. Turn to dust. <laughs> Man. Sounds like a lot of work, Rakes. This neighbor paying you? Or are you doing it out of the goodness of your cannibal hearts? Anyway, fish and chips. I, so, I had fish and chips, time, I don't know, you will know the two months ago, and it wasn't very good. Feelings. Like, I was surprised. Usually, it's hard to screw up fish and chips, right? It's, it's just usually, it's it's battered and deep fried. It's good. Um, but the one I had wasn't too great. I haven't had good fish and chips in a long time. Sack of wine. Hey, you know, R-squared. Welcome back. What's up, R-squared? Man, it's hot in here. Um, part of why I feel so hot, though, is I got sunburned yesterday, too, walking around, driving driving what kind of fish i don't even remember some kind of white fish it was i didn't make it it was uh, at a restaurant what we got going on drinking a bit fish chips is good it's good deep fried batter is good probably cod or something yeah some sort of white fish white fish you like the fish count me out you like the fish <laughs> that's a clip saw that the other day elder shader is good Hey, there it is. Especially at Arc, yeah. It's, I mean, I haven't had too many that were not great, but this one wasn't very good, and I don't know why. Um, I gotta remember that we have the um, Caretaker's Convention. Caretaker's Convention. Gotta use it. It's easy. 50 bucks for it. Lives there is in the hospital. He's the uncle to the guy next door. His wife. Alzheimer's. Well, she's gonna fix up the house you're in, then tear down his old house, build a new one. Gotcha. Not a bad deal at all. Hey, Pineapple. Pineapple. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I missed Story Night. I, I mean, for those of you that didn't know, I won't go over into it uh, in too much detail, but yesterday is the uh, anniversary that my wife's father passed away. And uh, they were really close. He was close to my daughter. And uh, so, anyway, yesterday was a long day, and uh, family wasn't feeling very well. So, and I had a long drive yesterday that relates to all this. So anyway, um, yeah, I missed last night's stream, which puts me a another week behind on Dragon Age, unfortunately, but we'll get through it. Um, I thought about playing Dragon Age today, actually, but I, I, don't, I don't think I will. I think I'm going to wait till the story day. But anyway, if you fly him up there, he'd be your chef for the week. All the crew ready can eat. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm not, I don't have that kind of money yet. Ice Kareem, thank you for the host. How are you doing, Kareem? I don't know if you're there, but might have been an auto host coming in. Not sure. Thank you, Ice Kareem. All right. Um, what do we got going on? We we have a medium. Hmm. Can't afford his calm red. It's true. It's true. Um, we do have the croc to kill. That's the last apprentice thing that we have in the game to do. So. I gotta make sure that whatever we're taking to the croc, we don't level up elsewhere. How can you get back lost trinkets? Once you have lost eight trinkets, uh, you will get a quest spawn to fight the shrieker. Once you've lost eight or more. Now, as long as, so go fight the shrieker and as long as you survive five rounds or kill him, either way, uh, after five rounds, excuse me, after five rounds, the shrieker will f fly away and you're rewarded eight of your lost trinkets. Thank you, Pineapple. That hideous trinket in the farmstead? Oh, that's the Berserker Charm. I used to use that quite a bit back in the day. 3 speed, 50% damage, 50% stress, minus 5 accuracy, minus 10% virtue chance. The Berserker Charm. Hi, mod wife. Masochistic. You better not be. Don't be masochistic. Um, Cat, we actually have two Vestals. Probably take Tedorino. That's what it is. His really good friends call him Tatarino. Tatarino. Maybe Bobbin. Why well, I say Bobbin? Peter Bob. <laughs> Peter. Peter. A generous bestowal. Mod wife farming those ad bits. Mod wife, thank you for the hundred and ten bits. It's a dollar ten for you. Hmm. 
So... Basically, um... Do I want to take a Crusader here or Man-at-Arms? I'm thinking Crusader, right? So, I think I'll take this team to the Croc. Let me, let me mark them so I don't forget. So, I'm going to put a big... Just put a one by their name. That'll be easy to remember. So I gotta make sure this party doesn't get to level three. And then I'm gonna use them for the croc at some point. Uh, I don't know when that. Truly, this is the dankest dungeon. It's a lot of ad bits. Modwife, thanks for gifting yourself 462 ad bits. Thanks, Modwife. Hey, uh, Hytel, I almost called you a Hellion. <laughs> I almost said, hey, Hellion, how's it going? How you doing, Hytella? Hytella the Hellion. A kind gesture. Uh, thanks for that kind gesture. Kind jester? Thanks, Modwai, for gifting yourself bits. So that's what's going on, basically. Phoenix. That was the fastest two hours in the in the west, in the south, in the east. Are you back, back? All right. So basically, um, I'll see bag put in. Prostate booting, man. Uh, send him home, and the guy said, can't watch him for hours a day. Got him home. Tried ripping it out of himself. Ugh. That's what I'm demanding. Welcome it's back. crazy. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Matt Diesel. Genitals. Alter Ego. Matt, thank you for the resub. Four months already. Matt, thank you for the continued support. Love the sandwiches to Matt. Feeling under the weather. Quick dinner. Sorry, Phoenix. <laughs> Hopefully it feels better soon. I mean, obviously, you know, if you want or need to take care of them, by all means, um, don't worry about stream at all. But you know, you know this. I'm not, I'm not saying anything you guys know. It's much needed nap. Feeling all right. Dealing with some of the normal issues. Nothing too bad. Okay, so this actually leaves us quite a few things. Quite a bit of a wiggle room. Um, basically, I'm going to keep an eye out for long apprentice dungeons. Also, Apprentice Dungeons that have the thing from the stars. Um, so, I am I guess we're going to go do a Veteran. Ugh. I need to do Long Dungeons, but good lord. Good lord. Long Wields. Um, I mean, the thing from the stars isn't there. We'll probably face a Shambler. I mean, it's pretty... Pretty likely. It's not a guarantee. If it was a champion dungeon, I'd assume that we'd face a shaler. It's a pretty good chance. Um, who do we have that's completely upgraded? Man, 17. So let's see. 3, 4, 5. Um, or it's 2, 3, 4 for Apprentice. So how much experience would they would 17 get in this? 6? He wouldn't level. I don't know. Long wields off it very soon. That's very true. How you doing, Larkin? Mexi, by the way, you died because of the bot command. You did not get timed out. Hopefully you didn't. L lately, people have been dying to that command and being like, well, screw this place. Why not get Why not get timed out? And we never seen them again. Okay, so making sure. I thought you knew, but I have to I have to let people know now. Leslie died so several times. Um, I think I'm going to do this. May the RNG gods have mercy upon my darkest dungeon playing soul. Ugh. Alright, where's another Hellion? Steven. Hot to trot. I'm not sick of not getting a Hell's hairpin. It's like one of the main trinkets I really want. Back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Reezy. Reezy, thank you for the resub. Uh, do alerts seem quieter to you guys, or is it my imagination? I don't know. My computer rebooted on its own. It makes me feel like there's an update, even though it says I don't have them enabled, and I can't see that there was one. Um, maybe a little. Hmm. Reezy, thank you for the resub. Six months, half a year. Thank you, Reezy. It's kind of loud there. Um, hmm. I don't know. Screw with it offline. First time in almost a month. Dragon Sun. Hey, look. Did you get today? 
I mean, that's, I mean, not good that you're dragging, but Rise right back at 70.75. Very active, nice guy, too. Just became so frail and slowly. It's scary, man. I think about that a lot, too. Like, um, unfortunately, things like Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's and heart trouble run in my family. Lucky me. Yay, genetics. Something about that, too, how quickly people can turn um, with those sort of things. It's scary stuff. These ones should already be upgraded, which is one reason I'm taking them. Probably in your family, too. From the S creature. A lot of S word on the heroes. So. Uh, have we had a single shambler in this run? Do we have one or none? We finally had... It's weird. No, I remember now. We haven't had a shambler on this attempt, and we've only had, like, two collectors. Five dollars, buster. R squared! R squared, thank you for the 500 bits from me and bro squared. In honor of my wife's dad. Just the pain of losing male parental units. Come up on a year. Yeah. Man, it's been a year, man. Almost. Anyway, R squared, uh, thank you for the bits. Yeah, it's rough. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, not to... Uh, belittle this, but we mod wife got something very special for you guys. One moment. We were at the store, at the grocery store, and she was like, I have to get this. Can you see this? Oh, you can't see it. That's the whole point. <laughs> it's a green pool noodle. So now she can beat me from off stream, off screen, with a black pool noodle, and you might even not even know it's there. Like she can sit in that chair over there and just suddenly. And most people watching will be like, "What the crap? Why did he just?" Anyway, infinity noodle. You can see it. Well, I mean, you can see through it, which me you can kind of see it. But yeah. Anyway. Our community. Where's the exam gone there? I remember. Was it R squared? Was it you that told me about this place? Uh, ciders, <laughs> ciders. Thank you for the follow. I've seen your commercial. Um, it's very memorable. I will say that your your marketing is on point. Um, was it New Zealand? I couldn't remember if it was New Zealand or Australia, but yeah, you showed. Oh no, she's here. Uh, Alright, so this is free, so we're going to use this this week. Other one, she's looking for it. <laughs> she's crawling to it, so you can't see her. Just don't hit my drink. Hang on, she wants to see it. Is that. You can't hardly see anything. It's like. God, please not the face. Right after we got the stupid thing. I'm in the kitchen trying to put away groceries, and she hits me right in the eye with it. Just jabs me in the eye. See that line? Yeah. And then I'm like bleeding from my eye. I'm losing like gallons of blood. She's just laughing. Do it again, you didn't see? Ha <laughs> ha. It's a limited liability corporation. It sure is, Ciders. Dramatic much? It hurt? I mean, imagine you're putting away. The nectar of the gods, like a, like a nice gallon of cool, crisp Arizona sweet tea. You can get your own at your local grocer for 99 cents or less. And suddenly someone just jabs you in the eye with a giant green thing. Please don't spill my drink. All right. What the crap? What is going on? Getting blooded, tough. Logging well, tough would be okay. <laughs> Peep abuse. I'm looking for things to lock in. Like, what's our best thing to lock in? Um, because it's it's free, luminous. But there's nothing to get rid of. Adam versus the noodle. Pool noodle has too many dents on the surface. Still see it in cam. I'm gonna use a green baseball bat for the smoother surface. Don't give her any okay. ideas. 
Why are you doing this? Just doing it for free. You're supposed to wait, remember? I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, hard skins. Face of. I might lock in Luminous anyway. <laughs> There's a Luminous we could lock in. You don't know she knows. We could lock in tough, get rid of weak grip on life. I don't know. There's not like a ton of. I mean, Lurker would be good. Get rid of. Tone Deaf, maybe? None of these are great. Quick Reflex is okay. Deadly. Night Owl. I don't want you to. <laughs> Done messed up now? You armed her right now. There's not really a lot of stuff to get rid of. Cletus. Sorry, you're a heavily modded no, no vessel run today. How's it going, Dylan? I guess I'll lock in Luminous before we don't before we can't do it anymore. Like this one's gonna fall off. Was that Himmel? No, it was BK. BK Lounge. Luminous. But it's a good day to be off tomorrow. The first day of the noodle. <laughs> Never looked better. Irish, thank you for the, the lurk. Is there a disease we can get rid of for free too? Might as well get rid of Spasm of the Entrails. Mm. Honestly, I love you. Here's for two weeks. Yeah, I know. You told me. Did you in? I know you said and you weren't going anywhere. Did you change your your mind or or anything? Have you decided to go somewhere? Experimental techniques and tonics. Uh, where's our other luminous? The sword cannot. I don't know if luminous is that big of a deal on the vestal. Is the thing like our vestal? We're not gonna be stacking dodge on her. We're gonna be stacking healing trinkets, so it's not as valuable. So. Watch me do all this and then die on the first hallway battle. That can happen. What's your suggestion about the green pool noodle? I just surf up here like your hero. Count me out. So. Go crazy. Hey, Cam. Welcome in. You made it home finally. What was keeping you away from home? Was it one of those dumb adult responsibility sort of things? You planning on it? <laughs> um, there's not really that good of things to lock in. That's which is problematic for many reasons. Do, wait, do we have any? Didn't someone have hard skinned? She has tough. We can get, we can get tough locked in or natural swing, and get rid of. Well, I might do that. First in work. That's what I figured. Well, welcome on in. Stupid adult stuff. I do stupid adult stuff all day. But now we're both here. I don't know. That Luminous just seems like almost a waste. So I don't think I'm going to do it. Um, Logging Lurker seems really good too. Frag will probably go to Darkest Dungeon 1 or 2. So having 10% extra damage is pretty incredible. I think I'm going to do that. So we'll lock in Lurker. We might as well get rid of the one that's reinforced. Uh, no other disease though. Alright, we're good. About lucky is a good quirk. What is lucky? I don't remember. What is it? UPCR? Stars are. Oh, stars are to you. Summon two ghouls and a shambler. God, I hope there's no shambler. Oh, it's not called lucky. For a miss to a hit. Uh. I mean, it's not on my version anyway. Uh, it's not too good because first you have to miss. Uh, and it's only it's a ten percent chance. Oh, no worries, UBCR. I know what you're talking about though. Um, so it's only a ten percent chance to turn a miss into a hit. So first off, you have to miss, which hopefully never happens. So it's it's I mean it's a positive, right? But I wouldn't lock it in. Um, it ends up triggering very little. So hopefully your team is mostly hitting, and then when they don't, it's only a ten percent. So I don't know. I don't care for it too much. Great shield, not listed to any wiki in Dark Souls yesterday. 
The bone wheel shield drops from the bone. Oh, yeah, yeah. When you hit parry, you spin. Yeah. Wait, that's not on the wiki? Found the thing, but it's not listed. That's really weird. Yeah, no, I've had that too. Um. Uh, God, what's the name of that place? The, I got it, I'm pretty sure, in the the sewer area of the Painted World, it feels like. God, it's been years, though. I might be misremembering. But I know exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. That's surprising. Junior's head, secret scroll. going to dodge, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, so it doesn't work very often. How are you doing, Phantasma? Um, okay, we're going to do surgical gloves and dark bracer. Um, I'm a little bit afraid. 31 health is scary. So we're going to do overture and Barristan's head here. And then two wikis. That's so weird. I mean, it's... I never re really used it too much, but it's a nice, like, novelty thing. I don't know, maybe it's better than I gave it credit for. But I typically try to use 100% physical shields almost always. I don't know, is that one 100%? Doing fine. Glad you are well. Um, I might take the moon cloak, actually. Could take the moon ring, too. I mean, it's a novelty. 9%, yeah. Um, the thing about the moon ring is it gives them 10% accuracy. A generous bestowal. GT, thank you for the 100 bits and using the bleed purple. Thank you, GT, for the bits. Remember, guys, if you use the bleed purple thing when you give bits to any channel right now, uh, Twitch matches 10% of it. So it just, Twitch just gives them more money just for you using the bleed purple thing, which is awesome. So, GT, thank you for the 100 bits. The 120. 200, 200 bits, I'm sorry. Why do I keep saying 100? GT, thank you for the 200 and 20 bits. <laughs> Appreciate it. So the thing is, we might end up with rabies, right? I think I need to take the moon ring. I mean, it's going to make us, I don't know. Stress isn't really a, that huge of a deal in the wield. Not really. There's not a ton of super stressful stress casters. Um, and there, there's a few fights that we can kind of stall a little bit on. We got two camps. I, I think I'm going to go this route. This will allow us to be better against Tree Branch Smackdown. And then we'll have extra accuracy in case we run into a Shambler or, you know, to kill the Crones or put up Bellow. Had every shield and it just dropped. Super excited. Is that where you got it too? Where I said? I mean, those mobs are in a couple places in the game, but not a, not a ton. Alright guys. Let's do it. No more stalling. No more stalling. Alright. <sighs> My hands are kind of sweaty. Um, all the food. Extra shovels. We gotta bring stuff for Shambler just in case. Mom spaghetti. My knees are weak. My wheels before a pinwheel. They're the same dudes? Yeah, I think so. Yep, yep. Food, shovels, stuff for the Shambler. So now that we're at Veteran, I have to bring stuff for a Shambler fight every single dungeon. I mean, we're not going to get a Shambler every dungeon, hopefully. It's possible. Um, but still need to bring it. Alright, food, shovels, curio interaction, Shambler stuff. Um, trinkets, upgrades, skills. Uh, excuse me. Upgrades, trinkets, skills came. Almost screwed up the mantra, just like, just like Larkin said would happen. Upgrades, trinkets, skills. Camping, upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping, upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping. Oh, putting Cam to sleep. <laughs> uh, let's go. We haven't... Have we abandoned any quests? Did we abandon a quest? I think we might have abandoned one quest so far in this run. Maybe. Or have we not? Was that a different one? No, I don't think we have. No, not, not yet? Yeah, I don't think we have either. Might be misremembering, but I don't think so. Attack with those bone wheels for the first time on this playthrough. David had one. Messed you up even, yeah. Yep, yep. Man, getting trapped in that sewer area with them. And there's like illusory walls down there, so... Break one of those open, you go that way, and all of a sudden you get... The bone boys from the... You get these skeletal monsters who are attacking you from both the front and from the back. 
Every dungeon. Look the dungeon we kind so. Dasty actually nerfed them. Imagine that. They used to hit even harder. Uh, I'm gonna jump in front of her. Just try to kill a maggot. Maggot's gonna give disease, and this is so early in the dungeon. To get a disease in our first haul battle would just be so annoying. Get boned every which way. Thanks for saying that. Oh crap, I didn't put her breakthrough on. No, Larkin said this would happen. <laughs> Is broken. That's right, Dylan. The offensive. We'll buy one on the Black Bow of Ferris. Favorite weapon in the whole game. Great shield of Artorius. Uh, I remember the Black Bow of Ferris and using that. Is that one? Is that the one that's found in the, in the forest? God, it's been so many years. I heard you saying you can see how many viewers the VOD has, but can't see who watched it. I feel I need to say half of it is me. Always try to watch Abyss to Torx Dungeon in the middle, so you just keep trying. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Cam. No breakthrough. I know. I have it. I have it leveled up. I, I'll equip it after this dungeon. Another one falls. Four Star Souls 3, I think it's in the swamp. Oh, the friggin' swamp in Dark Souls 3. I forgot about that area. I hated that area. Oh no! <laughs> Doesn't really matter. It's gonna bleed out. What a bad first fight. Um, oh well. As the fiend falls, One day you shall succeed. But it is not this day. Aragorn. Hey Fiddles, welcome back. How you doing Fiddles? Um, no, I'm gonna wait. Alright, I'm probably gonna camp in here. Yeah, let's camp. So this is to, um... Ease up inventory space a little bit. Uh, it's also to get buffs in case we run into a Shandler. Uh, so Phoenix is gifted Pillars of Eternity. Does anyone have any non-spoiler spoilery tips for Pillars of Eternity? Uh, so we're going to do dodge crit, whole party. Hopefully this crit hits her. It did not. Uh, I'm actually going to use Tiger's Eye. It's going to give her 2% uh, less crit. But, it's going to give her more accuracy. Doing alright, Fiddles, overall. Which bow isn't a great bow. Scaling decks with the longbow, even longer range. Crazy damage. 400 damage on the guy, and undead perish, even on new game, plus 5. Hey! R squared. Hit your brother with a pool noodle for me. Please. Uh, so R squared told me, or his brother told him, I'd run into two ghouls and one shambler in this dungeon. Ooh, good dodge. Uh, so far, it's the first ghoul. There's one. There's one. A powerful blow. Crit. Did not kill it, though. Unfortunate. I forget you'd say it. I, yeah, coach. Just, I'm trying to forget that. You know what's going to happen, though, coach. If we lose this run, it won't it won't stabilize again for a long time, and you'll die as a level one Reynold or something. So, just so you know, crit buff in camp with one character, and then another crit buff. Does it add to the first? Yes. So right here, she has plus thirteen percent. So she has five from the Manded Arms um, tactics, and then she got the eight from the Jester. So she has plus 18%, or uh, plus 13%. She should have had eight more than that, I believe it was. Yep. But it was not to be, apparently. Continue Probably the Kratic Vestal shall stabilize. <laughs> them How do you get a character named after you? You join the queue, as long as you have at least nine or 10 hours in the channel. Do exclamation join and it'll get you in the queue to become a character someday. So you can check your hours by doing exclamation hours, and as long as you have 10, you can enter the queue. I don't know if I should stress you against him. Fatty can fly. I have arrived. You may all cheer with joy. Yay. Hey, Fatty, how's it going? Welcome back. Almost there. I mean, I stream 45 hours a week, mo almost every week. Um, 
It's not super hard to get that many hours. You'll get there, hopefully, Mexi. You can join in. I stream a whole lot, especially if you're lurking and stuff. It's really easy to get there. Oh, good dodges. Good dodges. Masterfully good crit. You know what? I'm just gonna. I don't know. Eh, nah, we're gonna kill him. Cause he's pretty fast, and uh, his speed debuff is gonna run off after this round. So I'm, I'm just gonna kill him. Um, it would be nice to kill him with the Vestal. Ginger. What are you reading about? Oh god, I told you this would happen. At least it didn't crit. What's up, Ginger? Welcome in. So now I'm getting more stressed than what we should have. Uh, now I'm going to kill with her. Probably. So we give her an extra chance to get stress healing. 50% chance on a kill to get three stress healing. She didn't. Ajute! She did not. Secrets and hey, Jutes. Can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this Jutes, place. good. Good. Right. Uh, okay, I'm not going to loot this for a couple reasons. One, we're going to come back through, right? Two, we don't have inventory space. Three, if I leave this here and it's unlooted, when we re-enter this hallway, there can a, a hallway battle cannot spawn here. Pretty good. Got to Subway. Ten minutes for the clothes. Didn't have to make dinner today. Red Lobster Mother's Day dinner tomorrow. She works on Sunday. I have never been to Red Lobster. Sounds sounds like a good time, though. Fatty if you can't find what kind of sub you get. Good dodge. Other games kind of similar to Dark Dungeon. Feel it's a little better. A similar combat style, but a lot more in depth. It's called Iridus. Lord of the Dead. <laughs> I heard about that somewhere. Count me out. Um, I think it won some awards. Uh, let's buff our speed axe to crit. I'm pretty sure it won some awards. Spider bite. Don't know what kind. Painful though. Wait, have you gone to the hospital or doctor or anything, Ginger? Or is it not not that serious? Subway club. Turkey hand. Roast beef. Game of the year. Thought so. Um, I'm gonna guard her. So this is one reason why I bring the man at arms here. Uh, Tree Branch Smackdown can actually crit any of us to Death's Door, but if he guards her, he can only hit Tree Branch Smackdown on one of the fr front two. So if he uses it, it's going to hit him no matter what. And this buffs his protection. So it gives us a better chance of not dying or not getting to Death's Door. Uh, that one's dead. What would you have, Pineapple? I grilled homemade burgers. Did some yard work. Is it spring? Yay. Tree branch. Smacked it. Uh, can we get the stun in? I sure hope so. Good crits. Or is always a good thing. Yeah. Yep, yep. It's a vegan burger. We actually had some, we've had some black bean burgers that were really good. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's uh let's buff our speed again, just in case. What's he gonna good dodge? What's he gonna do? Maybe we just can we just stun him? I can guard her actually. What's the better thing to do? Let's look. Um Rampart's gonna have a 60% chance to stun. Or I can just defend her and then he gets hit. You know what? Let's do that. Um, because then if... I don't know. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Doctor, nothing you need to get a minute for. Gotcha. Bam. Hopefully it... Hold, hopefully the pain subsides quickly, Ginger. Alright. This place up north once. Was it terrible? 9% are terrible, though. I haven't tried that, uh, we, we've seen people talking about that, I don't know, there's some kind of, like, veggie burger that's supposed beyond meat or something, that everyone's like, oh, it really does taste really good, and they even add, like, beet juice so it, it appears like it's bleeding and stuff, it's on your elbow, it's a sucky spot, 
That's why they have to bend a lot. You can't put down. I mean, obviously, you know. He missed us again? The Beyond Burger thing tastes like air. Weird. Is that the one you're talking about? Obliterated. I have some black bean burgers that are pretty good. I mean, they're not... They don't taste like beef, but they're not bad. Come on, Tree Branch. Look at that. Coach is on Larkin's side now. Poison Spores, that's good. Hey, Miss Fortune, how you doing? Welcome in. Grunt's work. How you doing, Grunt work? Um, let's just buff. Precision crit. And power. No stun, though. Good crit. Strike. No stun, though. <laughs> On the rim, yes. So the um, the plan today, Grunt work, is Darkest Dungeon followed by a... Look at all that protection, yeah. Um, Darkest Dungeon followed by a bounty, a PS4 bounty called Warface. Gonna try it. We're gonna see what it's like. Um, followed by the Rim Worlds. Also, on Rim Worlds, I'm going to try my best to get a second colony started soon-ish. Because, um, with multiple colonies, as we found out last time, um, it's, it's more, there's less downtime. So, there's, there's more of it, which can be a bad thing, obviously, especially on that harder difficulty, I suppose. But, like, for stream purposes, especially early on, feels like a pretty good thing. Monsters it's pretty good for a free shooter, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna, I mean, we're gonna try it out. I don't like, um, controlling shooters on the, you know, on a controller, but, um... It has PvE. It sounds kind of like... I don't know. Like, the description of it I read seemed very... Destiny 2-like. Controller aim, yeah. Go for that Warface game today. I wonder what it was. Yep, yep. Um, that's why they're doing these. In fact... Didn't look like it. Well, I mean about... I don't mean the look of the game and how it's played. I mean the type of game it is. A shooter... Where there is PvP, but there's also PvE and raids. That's what it describes it as. Still doesn't look like it. That's what it says on its description. We'll see. We'll see, though. Um, yeah, so actually... Oh, crap. Four spiders. So the thing is, uh, it, it seems like a lot of the bounties, most of the bounties that we've been having, are because of Twitch Prime. And so it makes me wonder what other bounties we're going to have. And I was looking... A couple days ago, and I was like, oh, look, Magic the Magic Arena has a new Twitch Prime offer. I wonder if we're going to have a Magic the Gathering um, bounty again. I'd really like to have one. And then right before the stream, I checked, and there's, there is one. So, anyway, that's what's been going on lately with bounties. A Steam store. So Warface is on the PC? Why is it making me do it on the PlayStation? For the Boros code. It's on Steam. Hmm. Like the bounty was specifically Xbox One or PS4. Interesting. Wait, did we get crit? I wasn't watching. I don't think we got crit, huh? You just got ganged up on. There's no spitters, though. Maybe try to expand that. Yeah, maybe. I hate aiming with a controller. I don't know how I used to do it. Like, I used to be pretty good at Halo 2. Like, not pro or anything, but we were fairly high rated online like you used to let your rating was a level which was kind of weird um and we, we ended up getting me and some of my friends got pretty decently high up main split game until i figure out what it's, what i want to do i i was even so my wife and i when well, my daughter went for like an hour walk before the stream we usually go for like a 30 minute walk and i was trying i was talking to her about stream stuff i don't know I've been thinking about a lot of stuff involving the stream, and I mean, I'm not stopping the stream, I'm not going to stream less or anything, but I really need to figure out the combination of what I want to do with the stream, and what's good for the stream, and it's really hard for me to determine and decide. Right now, I'm going to continue RimWorld after... Um, 
uh, after the bounties, but I don't know that's going to be like a permanent split. Sorry I don't have a more clear answer for you. If anyone has ideas, I mean, I don't mean just ideas of a game to play, right? I have buttloads of games that I wouldn't mind playing as a split, that I'd love to play as a split, but... Controller aim is best aim. Well, that's just not true. <laughs> just a key. True pro pros <laughs> blow steering wheels. What do they do? They have the gas pedal and, and brake pedal and press the gas to shoot. We're playing Divinity 2. Um, I have not. My wife and I are slowly, we haven't played it in a couple months, playing through the first one. But it's probably not something I'm going to play on stream. Don't know. The interesting thing about Darkest Dungeon. Hall battle, no shambler. The interesting thing about Darkest Dungeon, of course, I am, I'm still enjoying Darkest Dungeon. Um, if it was up to me, though, I probably wouldn't be playing it right now. I mean, I, I know it's up to me, so to say. Um, I don't mind continuing to play it right now. But it's not... If it wasn't for the stream, I wouldn't be playing it right Your now. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Char! Char four months. Char, that's... Why, that's that's a third of a year. Char. Thank you for the continued support. Love and say I'm just a char. Appreciate you, char. Hey everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? <laughs> thank you for summoning Cletus. Uh, char, thank you again. So, if it wasn't for the stream, like I was playing offline, I wouldn't be playing Dark's Dungeon, is the thing. So even though I still like it, um, I don't know if it's the best thing for me. I'm gonna continue it. I'm gonna do this challenge no matter how long it takes within reason. Unless Darkest 2, Darkest Dungeon 2 comes out. But the interesting thing about Darkest Dungeon, what I was gonna say, is like, and I mean, this is the way with a lot of games like this, especially single player games, but it's like the community for Darkest Dungeon is so diverse in what other games or what genre they like. Darkest Dungeon, I know it is a genre game. It's a roguelike, turn-based uh, combat game. You, my are rated E for excellent. Amber. I mean, Zeno Brown, Amber Seen. 13 months, the tier two. Amber, thank you for the continued support and for being in on the, the Wayne June lines. Appreciate it, Amber. Love and sandwiches to Amber. Tier two, Carbonite sub. Anyway. Um, the community that we have here and around Darkest Dungeon is so diverse in the games that they like and play. Darkest Dungeon isn't like a genre game where like there are, I mean, there are other games that are in that genre but that aren't like exact crossovers. Like if you have someone that predominantly likes shooters, like that's the only game they like. They like shooters. If there's another shooter, obviously it's going to differ, but a lot of them will have lots of crossover and people will watch and, and like to watch um, different shooters, right? Same thing for fighting games, genre games. The only game that we've played on the channel that was similar-ish to Darkest Dungeon, this game kind of style, turn-based strategy combat sort of thing, that did fairly well was XCOM 2. But XCOM 2 it still did worse than Darkest Dungeon because it's smaller on the directory at the moment. Masochism. <laughs> so I guess that's a long way of saying... Whoops. <laughs> long way of saying oops. Uh, put, I hit the wrong hotkey. Um... We're not playing a fighting game, so I can't just switch over to, hey, look at that. Switch over to another fighting game. Um, there's no real complete parallel to Darkest Dungeon. And so no matter what I choose for a split game or what I choose for the stream on a Darkest Dungeon break or something like that, initially it's not going to be as good for the stream, and I, I have to realize that. So, I mean, I know some of you guys stream too. It's one of those things where it's, it's hard to stream a game and have like 250 people on average and then you switch to something else even even if it's a similar game and you drop to like 115 people and i know it doesn't mean anything in regards to like oh the stream's worse con worse quality wise or anything like that but it's one of those things it's, it's rough to uh to see it's like i know sometimes you have to take a step back to take two forward but good job got to work it's not always very fun. Sure, to come up with suggestions. It's on point. Chat reactions great. These are awesome. I feel like you are just waiting for a breakthrough to get bigger. It's kind of how it feels to me too. And um, I think there's a lot of streams in the same 
It's really weird. There's a ton of streams. It's incredibly hard to hit partner. It's so hard to hit 75 and stay there. And then once you hit 75, it feels like, okay, 100, 150, 200. Those, those start to be easier. They, they come around more often. We're not going to use this. It sells for like, what, 1,800? I might as well just take it over a stack of gold, though. I don't know, actually. I don't think there is any reason to. I hate to throw down a blue trinket. Anyway, there seems like a lot of streams that are stuck around that same point. I mean, there's different, like, tiers of streams, and each one has some sort of thing that's some kind of breaking point, something that's keeping them back from another tier, so to say. Yeah, grunt work. I don't know. I've been thinking about it a lot, a lot. It's been consuming a lot of my thought lately. All Darkest Dungeon all the time. I mean, God, I'll be so glad when Darkest Dungeon 2 comes out for many reasons. Boom! The double crit. Eridus. Stop hitting you down. <laughs> hey, Kitan. How you doing, Kitan? Wow, that was a good round. Gently. Um, this is how a life is what? taken. What? This must have rolled so slowly. Oh no no no. Do we have leftover speed? We had leftover speed from the last battle. That's awesome. Don't even play the game. Yeah, Darkest Dungeon 2. Super excited for. Anyway, it's one of those things like um, Darkest Dungeon is still the best thing for the channel at the moment. But I gotta, I gotta realize at some point that we, like, the scary thing is I can't let the stream be so attached to a single game that the stream succeeds or fails based on that game or that franchise. And I think a lot of people have that happen too. I've absolutely seen a lot of, uh, a lot of channels talk about, oh yeah, I used to average 1,200 viewers, and then the popularity of the stream started go, or that game started going down, and now I average about 20. It's like a fortune waiting to be spent. Like the modded run, it, it was fine. It was very divisive as far as who watched. We actually had some people come watch that hadn't been to the channel a long time because they prefer modded runs. And then we had some people that didn't want to watch it at all. I was not included today. It is fun, yeah. There, there's been so many updates since I played too, Kitan. Uh, some people told me that it would feel like a different game if I played it again, which is fine by me. Same game, but more stuff. Nothing to pull off in Twitch. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it's, I don't even mean like full variety. I mean, that would be the dream, right? The dream would be able to get to a point where I could play basically full variety. But I don't see that happening for a very long time, if ever. Um, I don't need for it to be full variety, but I mean that would be the absolute pinnacle type thing to be able to do But yeah, it's, it is There's in there are some really good ones Out since the last modded run. Yeah, I know a lot of people have been asking that too. I don't know Like I said, I can't let a uh Dark Souls is still the best for the for the stream at the moment but uh, we were actually starting to get less numbers. We were actually starting to go down in average viewer count until Darkest Dungeon 2 was announced. And that's kind of opened up the category a little bit more and more people are trying to beat the first one before the second one comes out. Uh, which has helped a lot. But once that goes back down, let's say that let's say that Red Hook's like, alright, so early access Darkest Dungeon 2 is going to be until end of 2020. This one's going to start going down again too, I bet. You know, I have to think about all those things. It was a game that you forced people to believe in propaganda. Oh, um, Frostpunk. Frostpunk was really fun, yeah. The bigger the beast, the greater Always say the Darsen only. Enjoy the prison game, Rimworld. Yeah, I mean, Rimworld has some room to grow in still, I believe, too. Um, Warren gets about the same amount of viewers for his Rimworld as we do on a full Darkest Dungeon Nights. And it's a different, it's a different community. I mean, there's overlap, like I said. The community for Darkest Dungeon is so diverse. Man, I wish we, I didn't have to worry about friggin' Shamblers. I would throw some of this stuff down, but I just can't. Sucks. Just cause they want to learn the game, cause they want to see you playing it. I know, that's why I said it's the dream. 
I don't know if my personality is... Oh, man, we've gotten enough of those now that I could have replaced a stack of golds. <sighs> I would like to think that... Uh, well, I mean, I know that I can place variety and have an okay number, but it won't be anywhere near Darkest Dungeon. Player just killed Wolf on Sunday. The way into the Darkest Dungeon itself. Good luck, Dylan. It seems like if I was playing full variety right now, we'd probably average from 80 to 120 people, which isn't... Like, one of the reasons I don't talk about this very much on the stream is I never wanted... To, I know it doesn't come off this way to most of you, but I never wanted to seem like I'm unhappy with how things are. Like, I remember streaming to no one, right? For a long time. I remember... It's one reason I didn't uh, stream very much when I, after I first started in 2010. It was like I would stream for a few hours and literally no one would stop at the stream. N n the viewer count would never move. Um, so, I mean, I'm very fortunate to have the stream where it is. So I'm not complaining at all. But when you're doing something that your livelihood relies on, even if it's a fun job, you still got to look at it as a job and you can't let your... You can't let yourself stop growing or worse you know go back so anyway i don't know how many of you find conversation about this kind of stuff interesting but uh i've been thinking about it a lot lately do that switch cold turkey or seen it go well yeah yep yep i think that's i think like i said i might be misusing the um the split stream what's our speed four versus zero there is a chance a small chance that he goes before our hellion and actually point blank shots here i don't think i should leave any chance let's just let's just guard the blood. right side it might be worthwhile think about making the jump i know it's just so scary Have to at some point, and, and that's the thing too. Is like when do when do you make the decision to try it anyway? Like when do you when is that comfortable moment? Do you wait until you have 200 average people, no matter what, 400, 500? Do you wait till the channel starts shrinking again to to change? Like what do you, what do you? There's no good answer, and it's different for every single channel, every single community, because every stream is a little bit different, right? Ugh. Crit point blank shot. At least he's not at test tour. Okay. How you doing, Sin? Story Monday is a good indication. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing about Monday, maybe I should do Monday as a variety day instead of story day. After we're done with uh, uh, Dragon Age. And the difference there is that Yes, Dragon Age is a story day, it's a variety game night, so to say, but it's 10 years old. And how many people are coming to watch it that have never been to the channel before? Getting in, you find the ebb and flow. Trend's pretty fascinating. Yeah, it's weird. And, uh, you know, some of the big channels set... I mean, I guess I can't... I don't want to jump in front. I don't want to get her point blank shot because she's at 16. So I'm just going to attack him. So the big channels do set precedence for the whole platform too. Which is kind of interesting. Like, what genres are popular to be watched. And game in a category that's actually search. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I don't know. But, anyway. Like I said, if anyone likes talking about shop so to say i don't mind it at all um there's some things i can't talk about like i'm not allowed to um but and for anyone that's wanting to ask darkest dungeon questions by all means no matter what we're talking about you can always interject and ask a darkest dungeon question good crit salty league streamer d4 i wonder what i would actually rank as these days probably something terrible I told you I'd have to crit you. <laughs> it's not very good. How does hunger work? Mainly Souls Word streamers. One day on your favorite streamers are streaming Dark's Dungeon. It's like, this is amazing. I really want to play that. Like a streamer, you generally watch them if the game being played interests you. 
Play Room World, for example. Thank you, Phantasma. Yeah, it, like I said, it's so it's so interesting. Like, obviously, gamers are diverse in general, right? There's so many people who play games. And most gaming communities are diverse within reason. But like I was saying, like with Darkest Dungeon, it's so it's so much like almost its own genre or its own mix of genre that it doesn't just perfectly translate well to I'm not gonna use this yet. I think I'm gonna camp again. Yeah, let's do that. For buffs. Anyway. It's his own mix of genres, so it's not like... With Soulsborne, obviously, you, you have actual Soulsborne games, like, from FromSoft. But also, you can, that translates over pretty well to uh, 3D action-oriented or uh, permadeath games in general, right? But with Darkest Dungeon, there's not... It feels like as guaranteed crossover, if that makes sense. Okay, she got both of the crits this time. So she's going to be tearing some stuff up. How does Adam work? The light, the promise of Lots of tea. Stuffed animals and coffee. <laughs> I was about to say, you're already in... in that means you're already in bit debt. You just, you just bought stuffed animal and coffee. So you're in bit debt. I, I mean, sure. I mean, I don't, I don't mind. As long as we remember that there's taxes on those, on the... Wait, here's a question. Can we write off the pool noodle on taxes next year because it's used as a stream device? If she only beats me with a pool noodle for the stream, that's technically um, a, a stream expense. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, by the way, I'm married to uh, Mr. Burns. Audience, they're in, they're no matter what game is being played. For example, he had 10 to 12 regardless. Play something that's in vogue. His numbers are four and five times that. Make a serious go at making his this platform a career. As many viewer demographics as possible to build a base. Any As many viewer demographics as possible. So when you say that, viewer demographics, you're meeting video game wise, right? So like play maybe think about play doing splitting week three and three like we used to and playing like three days of fighting games for a month and then like all right those three days of fighting games are now going to be three days of card games that sort of thing i mean less rigid than that but you know what i mean hatch you bought for the birthday stream can be written off as well i guess so technically i think that would act if they're only used for that purpose that's the big thing with taxes if they're only used for the per the job purpose, then yes. You need to use it once for it to be an expense. Uh, I'm actually going to stress heal from turn one, I think. 60% of its use? Gotcha. Hellion stands and Vestal stands. Game times and time slots. The time slot thing is hard for me. Because I have a daughter. My daughter's life obviously is is more regimented because she's in school. And it's not like I can afford like a home school or something for her. Um, and I don't want to be on a completely different schedule than her all, all the time because I don't want to miss her life, you know. Um, I I wouldn't I would I wouldn't trade that for for any stream success. If that makes sense. Mr. Oogie Boogie Man, welcome in. Oogie Boogie, how you doing? Mr. Oogie Boogie Man. My bugs, my bugs. Yeah, the time slot thing is rough. The game thing I can do. I don't know. But anyway, my wife can attest to, to it that I've been thinking about it. Racking my bra my brain. I almost said racking my Brian. <laughs> I've been racking my Brian. I think my brain is wrecked. Anyway, about uh, stream stuff lately. Talk to her a lot about it. Poor Brian. 
<laughs> is that the good kids do call it these days? Rack, <laughs> wrecking the Brian. Start playing this game again this weekend. The first you got was 22 weeks. Well, the great thing about this game is as long as you're not playing on the hardest difficulty, there's no lose condition. So just keep that in mind if you didn't already know Oogie Boogie. And if you have any questions, let me know by all means, even if we're playing something else. Racking my Brian. Brought low and driven into the mud. The poor Brian. Mm, I hate throwing gold down, but I cannot throw the Shambler stuff down. A new euphemism. <laughs> How many count me out? It's a Christmas miracle. How many count me out brownies have I had? None yet. He doesn't offer those away lightly. There are games on YouTube, even the older ones. Just a different demographic than most Twitch streams. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, obviously. I, and I don't I don't mind playing those things. You know, I, I've missed so many of them. I, I like playing through things like Mass Effect and, uh, you know, Dragon Age and stuff. I'm going to open that when we come back in the hall. Um, it's not the best for streams because a lot of those people have already played or watched or both. A lot of those people have watched the g game plays all the way through several times or whatever. And they're just not going to watch again. It's like Harvation Team Brian. I didn't raz. Um, so, I mean, that's the thing, too, though. Like, uh, like Two Shoes was mentioning, streams have, like, a base to them. No matter what size your stream are, Welcome or back. is, your steadfast streams, loyalty size streams is are, appreciated. Metal Thug. Metal Thug, thank you for the four months. Why, that's a third of a year. Metal Thug, thank you for the continued support. Very much appreciated. Love and sandwiches to Metal Thug. Thank you, Metal Thug. Like Two Shoes is mentioning, most streams after, well, even small streams, most streams after they have some regular viewers have a viewer base that will watch or be there for almost anything. And it's about growing that base, right? Oh, crap. I misclicked. <laughs> oh, then we got crit for it. Oh, I gotta stop making these mistakes. I'm in friggin' veteran dungeons. Anyway. <laughs> so with that base, you can do more variety and not have to worry as much. Oh my god. Oh, crit. Is that... Is that Princess Peach saying suck it? I can't believe I misclicked because I was talking. No loot! Stupid momentum. slimes. So there was a 70% chance to get loot there. We got none. A handsome reward. I, I shouldn't complain too much, though. We still haven't had... You know. That one guy show up. Mr. Shammy Whammy. Shamwow. Princess Pizza. Suck it. <laughs> Oh, trap. I'll take a trap over a shambler. Spring to life with a singular purpose. Uh, one key left. This is a long dungeon, so there is a secret room somewhere. I can actually use antivitamin on this, though. A day or two that sticks to a certain game for a while. Build a base in one new area, twitch at a time. Stick with one game for people to feel like they can come back to the stream at first. By the time you're going to switch there, so hopefully a good portion. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what I was thinking. Um, the thing too, base the one viewer base. That's awesome. Two shoes. Um, we need to kill this. Oh god, we're gonna get marked either way. We do have the guard for it. Let's buff first. Variety, but they do games typically for challenges like you do. Super Mario Distortion 2 is a good example. Stream a game about a chicken carrying an egg. 25,000. Yeah. I mean, some people can just stream. Like I said, um, sure, Phantasm. Need to make a shambler that revives one time so you have to be twice. Hey, Kaz, still run 20. Yeah. We're starting veteran dungeons, so it's a little bit scary. Hey, Kaz. Um, so. That's what I was kind of thinking, Grunt Work. Now, the thing about it 
is I gotta figure out what the best days to split it are because it really screws up bounties. Now, unless I do that other game as a split game instead of an all-night game, but then I have less opportunity for people to hit the channel from that, that game uh, itself. So, yeah. I don't know. If I did split week again, it would be bad for bounties. The amount of bounties and how much it pays out that's offered to you is based on your average viewer count. And then also, um, we just wouldn't have the numbers for it to pay out anything at all, which is a huge portion of the income at the moment. I don't know, there's a lot of different puzzle pieces. Grunt work worried it better than you did. So like, like I said, not that I'm gonna do this, but imagine that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we did RimWorld, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, for two months and then thursday friday saturday was all darkest dungeon plus bounty at the end of the stream there's more there's a much better chance that i'm going to get people from the rimworld community that find the stream monday tuesday wednesday and eventually stay maybe check out darkest dungeon and then stay when we switch the monday night game then if i do rimworld for two hours or three hours at the end of every stream just an example, not like I'm planning on doing that. Just as an example, I think. 100% agree. So I need to find that genre or that game that I'm okay doing that with, or that I want to test it with, and I need to be okay with the two, or one step back thing. That's like the big thing. Like even if you tell yourself you're okay with it, when you take that step back on something else and you lose so many viewers, it's, it's, it's like holy, I mean it even happens to the huge streamers, right? Like, you take someone like the, the Asmund Gold guy, who was streaming WoW for like 25,000 people, and then he tries out like a shooter or something, and he drops down like 8,000 people, and he's suddenly like, nope, shooters aren't for me. There's absolutely part of that as cause of the, the drop in viewers. Man, we're getting the crap crit out of us. Welcome to Veteran Dungeons. Take rest of your account. Carryover fact to be expected there. That's time to get new people in earlier in the evening. I also wonder if splitting the week differently would be better. Because the thing is, if I'm playing... Again, RimWorld is just the example. I'm not saying that's going to be the primary second or secondary game or something like that. But let's let's put RimWorld into, into it again. So, if I'm playing RimWorld Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday... Even though I'm playing it three days a week, I'm not playing it from Thursday all the way through Sunday. So it might be better to do like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday split on whatever the secondary game is. Because then it, there's only ever a day or two between which game you want to see out of the two main games for the channel. Rather than having to wait half a week. Uh, I'm going to try to kill the one that's not really stunnable this round or less stunnable. I need to try to stall a little bit. As we can see, or as we saw, these are obviously going to crit. They have a chance to crit. It's pretty high because of um, Torchless Blood Moon and Veteran. It's still not as high as other mobs in here, though. So we're probably not going to have a ton of opportunities to get stressed down. Sunday's off, other day off might be more effective. Viewership is higher on the weekends. What what day do you think would... The, the problem is, I know that Saturday and Sunday are popular. Now, since summer is coming up, I wouldn't mind trying another day. But the main reason that that's the day I take off is because... Not because it's a... Well... Not because specifically that's a weekend. It's because that's one of the only days my daughter has off at school. And like I said, as much as I want the stream to work out and everything, it's more important to me obviously that I'm part of my daughter's life and do things with her um, especially while she's growing up you know a um, now as far as the day itself she's about to be on summer break so the day off doesn't really matter when she's on summer break crazy challenge hey no rest gaming welcome in we are same challenge different nights So yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be Sunday. So as the summer hits, it doesn't matter which day I take off. 
<clears throat> Does stream during her school time? Stream when she is home? I stream when she's asleep. Thursday, say, lose any time with her. I take off when she's asleep. At the moment. Uh, so I don't stream until she goes to bed. And then I stop streaming before she gets up for school, and then I sleep when she's at school. So it's going to change a little bit in the summer. That's why I said I'm okay testing in the summer. Any plans for Mother's Day? No. My my mom lives far away. My wife's mom lives far away. Um, of course, I know my wife is a mother, but she she's always thought it kind of weird to, uh, to have, like, husband give her something for Mother's Day. Uh, so I'll let my daughter pick her something out. You know, flowers or something. And we'll probably go eat somewhere, like, not super fancy, but... Sure that you follow that just got sick of Dark Souls. Just the said of war started playing Don't Make Cry Five. It dropped eighty percent. and starts to like grow again. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Like I said, sometimes it's you take a step back to take two steps forward, or sometimes you take three steps back to eventually take four steps forward. You know, and you just never know which 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 steps back are going to be the ones that end up giving you momentum to push further forward it's it's a it's a tough thing success so clearly and can never give you anything for mother's day <laughs> merely your fur babies light. they give you hairballs and things how much more dungeon do we have let's see one immune two immune three we can get three hunger procs so we actually don't need all this food anymore hairballs aren't gifts. it's true they give you love. They give you that every day. Get a job, cat. Hey, stuff. Yeah, we are kind of winning, actually. We're in veteran dungeons, though, so there could be a shambler behind any... Behind any door. God, I just don't know about throwing down stuff I'm going to use for the shambler. If we have a shambler. Uh, the main thing that I'm thinking about throwing down is holy water. But holy water is preventative. We use it during the Shambler fight so we don't even take the blights or bleeds. Whereas these two are, um, you know, after the fact. Their, their cure is not prevention. Prevention is better. But these two are used on more curios here. God, I'm going to use the holy water. I hope I don't regret this. Greed, greed. Put on the jade. Well, I mean, the jade will end up stacking. That's why I kept it, and that's why I kept the onyx. If, if we get further in, I'll throw down the jade. But the jade ends up stacking for more than a stack of gold. You get a lot of gems on veteran torchless. We'll see. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption. Right on the jade, yeah. With misintent. I don't know. I don't know how long to wait until I throw that down instead. That's the thing. Like we threw, we ended up throwing out three or four onyxes, and I, until I was finally like, oh well, crap! Onyx is going to end up stacking more than a stack of gold, and then since then we've only gotten two. Um, not a great fight. Let's go ahead and buff. So the Nashers can give rabies, and we definitely don't want rabies on this. I mean, we don't have Hell's Hairpin still. He has a Moon Ring, so I mean, if he got rabies, he would be okay. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. She has surgical gloves, still not great. Drop them. Something else, yeah. It's the way it works. So we do have our speed increase and their speed decrease. So we should go before them this round. I'm gonna start stress healing. Uh, let's jump in front. Speed of three versus eight. She's not guaranteed to go first. 
Hey, Jonathan Miller. Welcome in. How you doing? I'm gonna try to stun him. Did not get it. Skull Toss. Skull Toss is one of the most stressful moves in the game, especially when it crits. Thoughts about Community Knights? I don't mind them. I don't think they're. They're obviously not good for growth, so to say, but they're a lot of fun. I mean, they're fun for me. I, I think they're fun for people involved. I don't know how the consensus on fun in watching them goes but uh, we've had several uh, we've had several I wouldn't mind doing like even like just one a month would be pretty cool um, we had a uh, Heroes of the Storm one which was fun got to kill some people in the channel we had the League of Legends ones we've done Apex what else did I play with people on something else Kill Kaz, I did. Don't Starve Together Community Night. How many people can be in a game of Don't Starve Together? Human Skull thrown at you by some holy monster would be stressful? Yeah. Makes no sense at all. <laughs> Who killed you? When we played Heroes of the Storm. Count Me Out doesn't remember much about the game other than the time that I killed you. <laughs> so every time I mention Heroes of the Story, he brings it up. You start to upgrade in the town, Stagecoach. Um, so the first thing I upgrade is the size of the roster. I usually upgrade it once or twice early. And then I upgrade um, skills, one level. And then I upgrade uh, the blacksmith weapons, one level. That's my order. So... Um, Roster size, well, the very, very, very first. First week back, I upgrade how many people we get off the stagecoach so that we get four. So the order goes, upgrade stagecoach until it's bringing four per week. Upgrade the roster twice, usually, depending on what we get. Upgrade skills once, upgrade blacksmith weapons once. And that's, that's kind of my order that I always go in. Tabletop night. Perhaps the turning point. I don't know how I'd set that up. I mean, I know there's digital ones, but you got killed a lot in Heroes. No worries, as long as you had fun. Default max is six. Oh god. All right, here, here, here's how it's gonna happen. We're dropping the jade. Ready? Let's see if we find four more jade after dropping it. Tabletop Sim. Do I have any herbs? What do I get through this? I should shut up. Amazingly versatile. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Let's keep things level 2 to prevent veteran missions spawn. I try to level things up pretty evenly, so I just kind of naturally get to the point where veterans aren't spawning too much. I usually only upgrade to level 3 weapons if I am about to go after, like, champion, or not champion, excuse me, apprentice bosses, like the last few apprentice bosses, or like if we're going after the croc or something like that. So I just try to level things evenly across the board, and it kind of naturally happens that way, Sin. We were talking the other night, though, how uh, that isn't a bad idea. And, uh, yeah. So I haven't really done that the in a roundabout way, I suppose. I did. What's our speed? Five. She's not guaranteed to go before these. So I'm gonna kill this one. Be a lot more stressful with Skull and we're still alive and laughing. And biting you. Just <laughs> get gangrenous. Slowly spread with a foul smell. That's a lot of insects. Lay eggs. Larkin, have you ever thought about applying uh, to Netherrealm Studios? I, I hear they need more people to make up fatalities for their next Mortal Kombat game. Seems like you might have a, a knack for that sort of thing. 
We're back, Phoenix. Uh, I'm gonna try to stun. I mean, I know there's there's some healing needed, but <laughs> we'll slow him down for the next. Re I don't know if that's a good idea. Nah, we just need to do damage. He's gonna get some attacks in either way. Not much we can do about that. Like this next round, we're not gonna kill him anyway. Invent angry vomit pigs. <laughs> Perfect idea for this game too. Rin is what we want to see. I mean, crit rend really sucks too, obviously. But it it's the only move that he has that doesn't cause stress on its own. Skull flail. Spine is the chain part. Pretty brutal there, Sin. Alright. Uh, we stunned him. I think she's probably going to kill him. She does still have a little bit of damage debuff on her, but I think she can roll a... F uh, she has six as her bottom end. Five, I mean. Okay. Good. A trifling victory. We've had, like, no scouts either. Uh, what is deadlier on the Shambler? The Bleeds or the Blights? Hmm. Probably the Blight. This is a bit excessive for this. Especially for me, of course. So many games think you will never ever play, so it's an outlet for it. Yeah. So, Gruntwork, I don't know if you're still there. So, Gruntwork, you suggested Thursday off? Do you think Thursday is the slowest stream day in general? I thought Monday would be. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the bandages. Don't tell anyone. I mean, obviously, I could look at my own numbers and see which one's slower, but. It's rising slow. Well, yeah, I mean, even going back before story night, just in general on Twitch. Which, which night of the week does Twitch have less viewers in our time slot? <sighs> which boss? Uh, we've killed all apprentice bosses so far. So every apprentice boss in the game is dead, aside from Apprentice Croc, which we're gonna do probably after this or soon. Infinite ectoplasm. How do you route? Do about your bots. Nothing but afflictions. That's your own bad luck. It's got nothing. Look at that. Kim focused. Phantasma focused. You feel it's on Wednesday? Hmm. I don't know. I never really thought about it too much. I might have to look into it more. Crit. I kind of didn't want that crit because they might summon a big boy. Hey, look, it's a big boy, which gives us stress. Stream day. It's slowest for me because I already take it off. Hey, McPie, welcome in. The hard square died too. It's cause you talk bad about the bot. I do enjoy one. Our community grows. Knuckle Dragger Gaming. Knuckle Dragger, thank you for the follow. So the towering ectoplasm. I mean, it crits obviously, right? But it's a single enemy. It's a single enemy. So I mean, it's not going to crit every round, hopefully, unless you get really unlucky. So, this is one of the ones that you can kind of recover on in here. I mean, it's a veteran Torchless Blood Moon, right? So, it's it's going to crit us at some point. But, it is a size 2 mob. It's a large mob, so it's not going to con reinforcements in the traditional sense. It is going to keep spawning small slimes, though. Um, but, I think it's worth... Stalling a little bit here. Dodges. So, I mean, we don't know. The very next hallway could be a shambler. And we could really 
be in a lot of pain with all the stress. Big Slime double crit? Yes, it is. But it seems like his crit isn't as high as some things in general to me. What are you... More shall gather. I think Redhook added the, the crit received while marked debuff to Bellow. Seems super random. I don't know. That is a good question. I did notice that. Um, Gar! Gar, thank you for the host. Appreciate it, Gar. Welcome in. Crit chance received 5% extra while marked. I, I mean... I don't know. Maybe they felt like there was enough crit synergy in the game or something. It is kind of a weird thing. But I just always figured maybe there wasn't enough Mark synergy, or maybe they have some data that shows marks aren't being used as much or not as useful as they should be or something. I don't know. I kind of wondered the same thing. But not really thought about it too much, I suppose. Hey, doing, Gar? Welcome in. Thank you again, Gar, for the host. So, so far, this is working out to our advantage. Still. I don't know when I would use that, actually. Thinking about it. Like, I'm, I'm thinking about the normal teams that I use. That have the man at arms. What team would I want extra crit received on March targets? I mean, it just makes marks better, of course. But, I mean... It feels like it makes... It almost makes markings slower, in a way. I suppose. Because it, you have to... You could replace one of your... Characters that deal damage to mark targets with the man at arms. I don't know. It seems weird. Kind of useless in a mark party, yeah. So if they did it from like, okay, maybe they were thinking if anyone builds a mark party, there's going to be no tanky ish character that synergizes with the party. So let's slap something on one of those, like the man at arms. I don't know. Mark is very slow. Usually you're just better off dealing damage. There's a couple of um, couple instances where that's not true. Like if you have a really mark heavy team against a boss that has only one action per round, like Swine Prince. But for the most part, yeah. Our target to Bellow. Just hit the thing with your weapon. Yeah, exactly. Too slow. I don't know, I feel like we're gonna get crit. We haven't gotten crit. Alright, I'm gonna kill it before we get crit. I'm a, I am don't know. I feel like our luck can only last so long. Can I get one more stress heal in? Yeah, we're fine. If this was a Apprentice, I'd probably just go ahead and try to... I mean, unless we stun it. I doubt we're gonna stun it. No, we'll just heal her. Screw it. Really, is that... To damage as well as applying mark, yeah. Even if it's a little damage or something, I don't know. Form of a ramp. Like, um, like the Crusader, they buffed his stun damage, right? So now it's like 50% damage plus a stun. If there was a move that did 50% damage plus a mark, that would instantly make a mark comp super viable. That would be actually kind of really powerful. But I mean, not... It's not any more powerful really than the stun. Stun is like the defensive version, so I don't see how that would be super overpowered when you compare it to stun. Stun is stupidly strong too. The OG Falcon, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's why it's, when I first used her too, I was like, yeah, the game's, this feels like it should be there and not the Arbalist. So we finally got the Critical Scout, didn't find a secret room. Oh, uh, two hall battles. Oh no, I didn't mean to enter that yet. Stun and a mark. A move that stunned, marked, and dealt damage. The first test. <laughs> now it must be carried home. Ugh, two hall battles. Mm. Don't forget to hit stealth, yeah. Auto crit. I 
I mean, this team's in good shape. I mean, we have our level four stuff. We have okay trinkets. It's a it's a decent team against a shambler. Also, like we could run. You know, we're done with the quest. Three and four. She is usually in rank one and two. No, it's deadly. Yeah. I'll mark the brace cards. Are the most important early or mid game? Um. It comes and goes. So basically, once you are reaching a section to where you need your next upgrades, then you kind of switch gears and go after heirlooms. That's how I do anyway. It depends on what you need back in the hamlet, in my opinion. So... It's not a shambler. It's not too bad. Tree Ranch back down, though. Um, so what I mean is, like... Once we're about to start going to veteran dungeons... I need to make sure I get enough heirlooms to uh, to get the blacksmith and the guild ready for those level dungeons. Um, once they're they're ready, of course, then I need to save gold early on in the veteran dungeons to upgrade our stuff to veteran levels. So it, it, it's not really less important unless you until you get to the super late game where you're just like rolling in gold, but that's really late into it. So, I mean, gold and heirlooms are always going to be important, but as far as, like, when you should try to get one over the other, it just depends on what you need back in the hamlet. I always kind of, like, we just entered veterans, right? We already, we already have the upgrades for our buildings to get veteran equipment. So, at the moment, we're not going to be entering champion dungeons for a very long time. Very long time. So... Heirlooms aren't as valuable to us right now as gold because we're spending so much gold to upgrade to go into veteran dungeons with full upgrades. So it's, it's like an ebb and flow sort of thing between... Okay, now I'm going to stack gold as much as possible. Okay, now it's time for heirlooms sort of thing. I don't know if that really makes too much sense, Oogie Boogie, but that's how I look at it anyway. few things you can think a mark party would be effective against in a normal dungeon yeah that's a good point i've never really thought about that but yeah, that's that's true so that's for each party member <laughs> prevents night to be a bush makes sense okay good 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 crit good crit Gonna regard her regards. Let's see you. Hopefully tree branch smackdowns. I've never said that before. Oh, the dodge. I mean, if we stun him, I can actually stall a little bit. Very nice dodge, yeah. We got the stun. He's dead next round. We can just stall. Heal up. Raise the dead if I'm on your side. Hmm. Be cool, hero for Dark Ocean 2. <laughs> it's easy, just always crit and always dodge. Thanks, Wayne. There's not a command for it yet. I feel really bad. Um, I love all the sound lines so much. And I'm like still super thankful for them. I've had so little time this last like week, week and a half to do anything. It's like, I need to get them added. Man, we're in great shape. These nightmarish creatures hey, everybody, my name is Cletus. There's Cletus though. Anybody wants to call Take the lady for dinner. Gar, have a good time. Grows. Be safe. Thank you for the lurk. DJ Cartage. DJ Cartage, thank you for the follow. Uh, do you sell, this sells for 750, this sells for 1100. This will be weaker than the monk. <laughs> it's probably true. Um, like I said, we don't need portraits as much right now. So I'm actually thinking about dropping it for 1100 gold. So we have our veteran upgrades, so. I want to do another. You're talking about the Don Y one? I don't know. We're going to do these two uh, curios either way. I 
I mean, this is the best shape we could be in for a Shambler. 8% chance for a Shambler. It's probably worse. It's probably worse. At least you can give disease, and they might not even drop loot. Uh, since it's zero light, we have a 70% roll for loot. They don't drop loot in normal light. Gray Rot? I'll take some Gray Rot right here in the back. No, I'll leave them alone. The Red Plague. So basically no bleed resist, minus 10% max health on our lowest health character, and minus 5% crits. Hashtag get plagued. <laughs> Be gone, fiend. I'm guessing if you search Twitter, that probably has never been done. Just guessing. Another abomination. Uh, there was a YouTube show I used to watch where every now and then, challenge accepted, every now and then they would have something that was like, um... What was it called? A lonely hashtag. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow And so they'd go find a hashtag that had only ever been used like once. And they'd be like, All right, millions of people watching this, go use that hashtag. <laughs> There's some weird stuff. The agents of pestilence will yet be driven from our woods. Forty four thousand plus some trinkets to sell. I mean thirty thirty four, I'm not sure why I said forty four. So 34,000. I mean, after trinkets, got almost 40k gold from that with no secret room. What? Hashtag get plagued has been used six times. Wheel tactician is good. Bulimic doesn't matter. Luminous. Luminous is good. It's one of my favorite positive quirks. Miss. So, I mean, Bladed Wolf has two diseases now. So 11, 11, 11, huh? Well then, we hope all your violent wishes come true. Hashtag get plagued. Mm, a band called Plagued. I thought of everything. Simpsons did it. <laughs> That's what I think of. Simpsons did it. It's around the way. It is like some women's styles. Come on by and check them out. Hashtag get plagued. Plagued. <laughs> hmm. Another scouting whistle. Uh, come on, Hell's Hairpin. Yes. It's real. It, ex it does exist. It does exist. Those aren't notable. Oh, it's time for the alluring siren. This is actually a good team to take to her. Aside from the Red Plague... Hmm. No, I don't want to do that, actually. Jerezy and Bladed Wolf would level. So we'll take someone else besides those two. Wait, what is he? Oh, he got Bulimic, yeah. Finally. At long last. Boss fight? Yeah, we're going to do the Veteran Siren. Veteran Siren. Hopefully we don't get a Shambler on the way there. Uh, drop out Jerezy for now. So let's look at our Vestals. Eldritch Slayer, very good. So maybe Denatar. Pat Denatar, I believe. Luminous. Luminous is also really good. Even on her, like, I, I don't know. It's not as good as on some others. Because we don't stack dodge as much on her because she uses healing trinkets. But... The speed's good. Jalia has hard noggin. It's good in here. Other than that, though, nothing that really helps. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll take Dinatar. And then... We'll take a Howlmaster or a... Jester. What else would I really want to take the Jester for? Jester will probably take the flesh. Any other boss specifically that I want to use him on? Not really. Um, and we have another one too. So I could take him to this. To bring him because it can punish you later. The thing about the Siren that I like to do is get a fast team and have have your man-at-arms guard your main damage dealer. 
So sometimes you can it can still screw you over, but if I guard the Hellion with a man at arms, she's less likely to take the Hellion, and the Hellion can just rip her apart. Um, that's one reason why I'm thinking about taking the Jester, so that hopefully we can get a speed buff going into a round and be able to guard more more often before guard more often before she does her her move. So that's usually the strategy I use. Um, I mean, I could take the Houndmaster too. So what I could do is I could take a Houndmaster who who also has guard, and for round one, it, if our Houndmaster goes before the Siren, we could guard the Hellion with him, because it's still better they take the Houndmaster than our Hellion. And then after that, it doesn't matter. We'll always have at least one person to guard. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's take it into the fully stacked Fidali. <laughs> God. I don't want to imagine this. Take it easy, Satan. Plutus Natural Eye would be good. Night Owl, that's all really good. Eldritch Hater is... So Eldritch Slayer, Eldritch Hater are so good against the Siren because they are moves that give your characters additional damage, but you don't have to worry about them doing additional damage to you if she takes them. So it's going to hurt the Siren more, but it's not like, you know, deadly, which is going to give more crit chance even towards your party. It's pronounced Satine. Or Satine. Isn't that from something? My bad, Phoenix. <laughs> so Eldritch Hater versus Luminous Natural Eye Night Owl. I don't know. Cold High Hyman Hyman Flagellant? Absolutely not. Huh. I think I'm going to take BK. Dark, it's your birthday. Happy birthday to Dark. Happy birthday to Dark. Happy birthday, Dark. Man, finally old enough to drink. What an exciting day. Right, Dark? I do, Dark. Hope you are having a good birthday. Thirty-two. What? You're like a few weeks younger than me. Dismiss to a champion siren to play through. Killed everyone. Yes, I had that happen too. Exact same thing. She took Dismiss. Dismiss point blank shot crit the person in the front, and they immediately died on the next attack, and then we started over. Howdy ho, Adam Reno. Hey there, Ivax Arino. Are we are we flandering? <laughs> hey, dude, Ivax. Man, I haven't used Dinatar in forever. All right, we are waking up from a nap. Jeez, man, I need some of your naps. Hey, Matthew, Matthew, welcome back. Hey, new Matthew. Movie, well worth the money. Hmm. I think we're good to go. Any diseases we want, other diseases we want to cure this week? I don't think so. Any uh, negative quirk we want to get rid of at all? The yips, thin-blooded, either one of those would be okay to get rid of. Uh, let's lock in natural swing. Okay. Uh, did Reezy have anything to lock in? Really, not. Not really. Helomania would be okay to get rid of too. I mean, it's not a. It, it's a force interaction quirk, but it doesn't interact with a lot of things that really cause much trouble. Things that cause bleed and blight. It's not like disease too much. Uh, hey Matthew, any tips for a first time player? It's it's a lot easier to give tips if I know like a specific thing you have a question about. But in general, just remember there is no lose mechanic. Hey Moon Nibble, welcome in. There is no lose mechanic unless you're playing on the harder difficulties. So if you're playing on your first time and you're playing on Radiant or Darkest, don't worry if things go wrong, and they will go wrong. 
Darkest Dungeon seems like an unfair game, but the more you learn, there's a lot to learn, but the more of it you learn, uh, the easier it becomes, and the more you can offset RNG, RNG. Now, this especially goes to your characters. New characters come in the stagecoach every week, so, you know, if a character is in really bad shape, don't be afraid to dismiss them if you don't have the goal to heal them back up, or if you just don't want them anymore. If a character dies, it's much, uh, as much as it sucks, it's okay. You are not the heroes. They are a means to an end. They are a resource to reach the end of the game. So if they die, it's not as bad as losing good trinkets. So uh, try to get your trinkets back at least. Um, but aside from that, yeah, there's a lot to learn and experiment. Get ready for some, some epic failure. And uh, if you have any specific questions as you come across it or anything you can think of, by all means, let me know, even if uh, I'm playing something else at the time. Hopefully that or helps Matthew. Weird whisper link today as well. Oh, yeah, I forgot to... Uh, Hmm. Hytala said he got a link like that, too. Um, I'm sure it's a bot. Give me those two. I'm sure it's a bot. Um, can one of you whisper the name of the bot to one of the mods so we can at least ban it? I mean, it won't stop you from getting whispers, but maybe... You know, maybe they have something set up to where if it's banned from a channel, it doesn't go back to that channel or something. I don't know. Worth a try. Um, we don't have all that super bad of stuff to get rid of. Honestly. Though you don't have the name, gotcha. Trinkets. Adam Sester. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I don't know. It's good to see you though, Dark. Hopefully you're, I mean, it sounds like you're having an okay day. It's not really that big of stuff to get rid of. I mean, I know I just said that, but it's weird. We haven't had a lot of really bad negative quirks. We also haven't had a lot of really good positive quirks, so. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Who is this awesome and loyal person? McPie! McPie! Four months. McPie, thank you for the resub. Love the sandwiches to McPie. Mmm, McPie. My favorite McPie? The apple. The traditional apple pie. Although their strawberry and cream one, pretty good. Anyway, McPie, thank you again for the continued support. And a good day. The only thing that went wrong is girlfriend. If you want to talk about it, by all means. You, you know. You know the rules, so to say. The invitation. Sorry. Sorry, Dark. Alright. Let's do this. Mead. I'm gonna sell the Manslayer. Dazzling Charm. Mantra of Fasting. Everything else I think we're still using occasionally. Sacred Scroll for the heals. Junia's Head for the heals. So this is where it gets a little risky. I'm using Dart Bracer and Surgical Gloves. We're going to make our Hellion really strong. And if the Siren ever gets to take her, we're going to be in a world of pain. Um, I'm going to do Scouting and Overture on our Houndmaster. I don't know. Overture is a little bit iffy here. Because we get minus two... Minus two Accuracy. Now, there's not, a, like, a ton of dodge in the cove. It's not, like, a stacked stat. Dan Boozer. How you doing, Dan? So, Dan, can you believe we got two back-to-back -back League of Legends, but no Dota? No Dota. What's up with that? No, do something today, but no luck. Gotcha. Sorry, Dark. Have you played Warface, Ibex? It's specifically PlayStation 4 version, unfortunately. But, uh... I might go defensive here. I don't know. You haven't? I'm curious about it. Um, I'm gonna take the Moon Ring still. That accuracy is just too juicy. Alright, let's go. 
First veteran boss of the run, the Hunting Hounds of Hell, team I use a lot. All the shovels, stack of, or I mean all the food is stack of shovels. We have to take things for a shambler, again. And it's the cove, so we take a buttload of medicinal herb. <laughs> It'll fight you. Alright. Hi, hey, Minch. Or you asked, but have you heard about Kinshi? Uh, I think you did ask about it. And I only heard about Kinshi when I was playing uh, Sekiro. So. Food, shovel. So I don't know much about it, Minch. I've definitely not played it. Shambler stuff, Kiro interaction. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Upgrades, trinkets, skills. Camp. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Alright, let's do it. In financial desperation, I struck a bargain. We've talked about it before on Scheme that flies. Yeah, yeah, that one. Sacrifice right. When the moon was right. I think it came up during Sekiro. Or maybe yeah, right after Sekiro, but yeah. And one other kind of want to see me say... Trouble in portent. Now I'm self-conscious about saying it. Found accomplices slipped <laughs> silently beneath Why, Dark? Blackish water. Why? A fearful stirring at the edge of the torchlight betrayed I'm a self-conscious witness and gifted me with malign inspiration. On, on, on afterwards, I'll be well, cookies. It's life, yeah. My meant pronunciation wise. The so the. Oh, what a crappy layout, really. I mean, it could have been worse, but. Anyway, there's only one room that we don't get to go to, basically, depending on if we scout this. She can be in either one of these two rooms. Spawn is the furthest uh, room from our starting location, and it's not based. Crap, is this? Floating around. Anyway, it's not based on tiles, it's based on room. So she could be in either of those. North or south. Hopefully, we get a scout over there. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. <sighs> Surprise! Good, good. This one's gonna get a stress Welcome casting, most likely. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Mixy, nine months, another Twitch baby. I owe so much child support. Uh, Mixy, thank you for the resub, Mixy. Appreciate it and all the, all the support that you've given over the nine months, time, etc. Shit, Mixie. Love his images to Mixie. Do it. Uh, I'm going to stun the Pelagic Widemouth for a couple reasons. One, we're probably going to kill this through these two. Two, the Oracle seems really... It, I don't know. The Oracle seems like it has a higher chance to buff the Widemouth than it does the Gladiator. It's kind of weird. It makes sense, I suppose. Oh, God, Phoenix. <laughs> that one seems really bad. Do both their speed. Oh, good dodge. Even better. Even better. Dodged a bit tonight. She only has 30 dodge. I mean, 30 is decent. I don't know what these guys' accuracies are. Let's say they're 100. We have like a 1 in 3 chance to dodge. It's not too shabby. Birthday clips, gotta say. Switch of signs. The clips are hilarious. Famous moist fox party time. Oh, I know. That's one of my wife's favorite parts about the clips. Um, usually at like the end of the week, I'll show her the popular clip clips from the week or she'll she'll look through them. And uh, yeah, we always comment about the links too. Give them no quarter. <laughs> hey, Hostavit, still run 20, we're on veteran. We're actually going to our first veteran boss right now. The veteran siren. All right, I'm gonna bellow. Hopefully to slow the stress caster down, so we can kill it with our Hellion before it gets to go. Hellion and Howmaster. Slippery, smoggy moon, Kevin Turtle. <laughs> that Simon's backside, I'll try my best. Destroy. I'm not a mayonnaise dispenser. See, most, like a lot of the quotes, I'll remember at least some of the context to, and some of them I'm just like, I guess I said that. Like, 
I have no idea what where that came from. No flagellant, no, no flagellant, no highwayman, no occultist, none of that. Difficult modern pasta optimized prime. Difficult modern pasta. Their formation is Not her butt. Broken. Her back. She's old. Offensive. I get lucky. Put her into a... I follow. Can't get up. Say. Well, she has life alert, though. Then we're screwed. She's calling reinforcements with her life alert. It's game over then. No occultist, no flagellant. Not a single luxury. Like the ancestor before us. As primitive as can be. We did that the other night. No torch, no death, no motor cars. Not a single luxury. Carl! Chain can today. One time, two crucial shots, missed the fuseman. Final Terry had crit killed him. Ooh. Nice intelligent squid rule. Five? What's what's rule five? Um, so if we use ear, or the if we use medicinal herbs on this, we get rid of one random negative quirk. Nervous bleeding would be really good to get rid of. There's a lot of things that bleed. We could get bled during the siren fights um, that cause bleed, I mean. So that's actually a really important one. And Thanatophobia is also annoying. Demonomania would be nice. It's guaranteed. But yeah, I'm going to try Nervous Bleeder. 50% chance to get rid of Nervous Bleeder. Carl! It's all right. Carl will be high. Hopefully, there will be another Eerie Coral. Won't cover her medical expenses. Oh. Too close to home. It's crazy route. Had to f feel... <laughs> Hey, Carl, we just we just saw you. Carl, I, just, I swear to God, I just saw you down the street. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> it's Carl, part duh. Hey, Kotex, how's it going? Carl, part duh. That's how it's pronounced. Nervous bleeder con. It's two Carls, one hallway. It's a problem face. Two Carls, one hallway. Elorac. That's Elorak, Carl's twin. We don't talk about Elorak very much. Uh, we have to kill the friggin' Thrall. So I always know that you ha need to kill the Thrall first, but sometimes there's this perfect storm of crap that happens, and you don't get to kill the Thrall. We almost lost the run last Wednesday because of a Thrall that we missed it. Like, it dodged a couple times, and, um, and then it got guarded. And then it went before, it rolled faster speed than some of our other people. It exploded in Critus for 26 damage. It's like almost ended the run off of one thrall. One dodgy thrall. I'm sure you're not doing some RNG manipulation with that. I mean, other than saying, hopefully you run into another Carl, and then it just spawning Kim. I mean I wish I could manipulate RNG. If I can manipulate RNG, I would crit this guy right now. Close. If I can manipulate RNG, I would crit this guy right now. I just keep saying it until you get a clip. Uh, let's jump in front here. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Crit the lottery, yes. That's the true. That's the true use of manipulating RNG. Oh, that's a buff snail. Exposed to a kill. Wrong. Crit on the wrong side. I don't think we're going to get a crit this round. Oh, that's the way it works. Right. My bad. I forgot. I don't think we're going to get a crit this round. They seem to be manipulating RNG. No, that's the truth. I don't like leaving this up. It can give disease. Abyss wired headphones. Your wireless ones. Dying in the middle. Your workouts. Let's see that. I want to get that stress heal in. That's a that's a good stress heal. Ooh, good crit. Oh come on, Steven. It's a mag- just a little more oomph. Just push down on the blade once it- once it connects to the 
The maggot. Uh, we might get another stress heal then. Crit workouts at the gym. <laughs> another good use. To crit this round, you're either right or pleasantly surprised. That's a good point. We're invented. Crows mostly drink at home. <laughs> Seize this moment. Thanks, Hemuel. How you doing, Hemuel? Until the tasks end. One of the headphones on the wireless ones as well. How'd you do that? Uh, I'm gonna peek in here. I mean, there's no way we're coming all the way back. Stopped working. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. God, I hate when we get to veteran champion. I mean, in a way, in a way, I hate it, right? Because we have to always consider the possibility that there's a shambler, and because of that, I have to keep these three things: bandages, antivim, holy water. If we want the best chance we have against a shambler, now we might go ten dungeons and never see a shambler, or we might get ten shamblers in a row. It's just the RNG veteran shambler yet? No, this is only our like second. Veteran dungeon, I think, culture. So not yet. This magnet pushes blade down. Blade snaps. No weapon for the rest of the dungeon. <laughs> Thank God there's not weapon durability. Holy Christ. That would be bad. Uh, we need to kill that thrall, like I explained before. If we don't, it will explode for extremely high damage. And stress to our whole team. Weapon really in Dark Souls 2. I highly doubt they would go that route, but man, would that suck. I guess I'll slow them down. I don't know, slow them down is not really all that big of a deal because we want the or Oracle to go before us anyway. That way it's not stealthed during most of our actions next round. The Maggot's already slow, so it's probably better to stun. Um, we have a 60% chance to stun the Maggot. I think I'll go for that, because the Maggot can give us a really bad disease and just screw this dungeon up. Veteran. Casual 25 stress. Let's have weapon durability either. That's true. That's a much different kind of game. And also, the developers of Darkest Dungeon mention specifically that they want to get rid of some of the... The micromanagement in, in that it sounded like anyway in that interview so how I feel about still Ooh. everything happened to really did nothing in Sekiro you know I, I've been thinking about it a lot and Sekiro is not that difficult after you learn the combat right so I don't know I, I'm, I'm in this I, I loved the game I still do but I, I got to think about it more and more and I was like why is it that Sekiro felt easier, the bosses, like, after I learned the combat? Not just because of the learning the combat, it's... And I realized, I mean, I knew this the whole game, but I didn't really think on it. No stamina. You can literally cheese a lot of the bosses and enemies because you have no stamina. You can, you can just run circles around them. Literally run circles around them. And we did that sometimes to recover. So, I mean, you don't have to do that once you learn to get good at the combat, which I eventually got decent at but it's the lack of that stamina bar and uh i don't know once i kind of super realized that i was like wow hmm maybe Sekiro was easier than, than i really it really felt like to to me the first time or is it merely a trick of the light having unlimited stamina in a game like that is very strong there's no stamina bar in Sekiro. You can run for as long as you want. Now, you can't block as long as you want because block uh, makes you take posture posture damage, which eventually will break and stun you and you'll get destroyed. But as far as like running stamina, like you can run as long as you want without worrying. So you can literally... like Imagine in Dark Souls that you could always sprint. Like No matter if you had just blocked or not, you could always sprint. I mean, that would make Dark Souls and Bloodborne much easier too because... You just sprint around bosses forever. You're a shinobi, so it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, you're an immortal shinobi, pretty much. Um, 
God, I'm still gonna... Eldritch Altar? <laughs> I didn't even see it. I'm still gonna prioritize gold right now. So we're just starting veterans. We'll get rid of Demonomania. So a Holy Water on the Eldritch Altar. Gets rid of a random negative quirk. God, I love the cove. <laughs> just had a vision. Say you love the cove and then four groupers spawn and kill you. Yeah, you can sprint as long as you want in a... Hey, our first Krabby Boy. That's a Kiro. Now, a lot of the enemies are really fast to kind of compensate that a little, but they can never really make it so you can't sprint. I mean, the Headless had like an aura that made it so you couldn't run around them, but that was about it. Gotta go to bed. Work early in the AM. Thanks for all the info and I'll catch it. When you're on again... I'll be on tomorrow night, every night, aside from Sunday at 9 p.m., Oogie Boogie. And if you have any Darkest Dungeon questions, by all means, let me know. But, uh, Oogie Boogie, thank you for hanging out. Have a good night. If you can leave a lurk, it'll help out tremendously tonight. But if you can't, no worries. Good stun. So, spear fishing. now that we're in Veteran, unlike Apprentice, now it pulls. Which is scary. Because if you run into Quad Grouper now, or Quad Wide, wide Mouth... Um, they can actually put all four if if you get that perfect storm of crap that I've been talking about with this game uh, they can actually all four hit the same target and there's there's no out healing it there's there's absolutely no out healing that toasters were the first technology to use pop-up notification system oh bad dodge I did know that boo Boo. Uh, some people driving around with headphones on. I wonder, is that legal? I don't know. That's a good question. I want to stress heal here. It's nice to be appreciated. I thought you were about to start saying, I get no respect. Get no respect. Annihilate. Ooh, good dodge. Good job. Good job, Houndmaster. Another low percent stun. I mean, it's not super low percent, but... Lurk, enjoy the stream as always. Hey, Strike Vader, thank you for the lurk. Glad you're enjoying. So, for anyone that doesn't know, tonight is a bounty night. If you don't know what a bounty is, it's going to be a sponsored segment of the stream that we do later into the night. Uh, and it financially supports the stream. So I know early in the stream we were talking a lot of uh, shop, so to say, about streaming. And the bounties are a tremendous way to help bridge the gap between this being one of my two jobs. It's a fun job, but it's still treated as a job. And my only job, which would be amazing to support my family with just the stream. Uh, so if you would tonight when you're done with the stream, if you'd leave it running in some capacity, leave the video playing. Even if it's muted, as long as the video itself is moving, uh, it will help financially support the stream during the bounty. Want to explore Emerald that can make Wimp the best trait in the game? Really? What is it, Gruntwork? I doubt I'm going to use it, but curious. Curious. Thank you, Strike. Missed that stun. Oh, good dodge. Come on and slam. We're going to get another low percent stun. What's the percentage on this? Hang on. It's 130, but we have minus 10, so 120. He's at 70, so it's at 50%. So we've, we've rolled, uh, we flipped a coin three times, got heads every time, so to say. Pawn goes down, your hidden number that determines raid strength goes down a little. If you send the wimp out to fist fight animals over and over, he'll go down and pretty much never be in danger. Lower your raid points by a ton. Is he using that for his uh, high wealth run? That seems like that would be incredibly powerful. How do you lurk? All it means, Boogie, is leaving the video running in some capacity. So, for instance, if you are if if you are on a PC, if you leave the stream video open on a tab somewhere, even if you turn your monitor off or whatever, uh, it'll count. But um, yeah, just leaving the stream running in some capacity, even if you're not. Uh, actually watching at that moment counts as a lurk, so to say. 
But if you can't or don't want to, it's no no huge thing. Thank you, Boogie. Always bring a shield breaker to the cove. They're not too bad, though. I mean... If... I say that, but if he crit bleeds you, it really sucks, right? Especially if you don't have bandages and then you leave the fight. You don't have a way to heal the bleed during the fight. But overall, I don't think the crab is too bad compared to a lot of other... Uh, places... Mobs that start in veteran. But yeah, the shield breaker destroys him. Thank you, Boogie. <laughs> Alright. There's nothing we can do about the hall battle. Oh, the glittering gold. Should do down the crest, actually. Hmm. Eight percent chance at a shambler. The bounty is a game called Warface. Uh, it's the PS4 version. It's a free-to-play shooter. Uh, that I've never tried, so we're gonna try it. It's I'm trying on PS4. The bounty was specifically PS4 or Xbox One. I don't have an Xbox One. There is a PC version, which I usually don't like aiming guns on controller. I haven't really done it mu much since like Halo 2 days, but we'll, we'll try it out. We'll see what it looks like, how it feels. We'll go through and see if the shop is just cosmetic or if it's a pay to win type game. Um, Warface, yeah. How you doing, Morph? We'll, uh, we'll check it out. Good crit. The Madman has a 4.1% chance loyalty dropping one of three trinkets, which we have one of. Senor Lowe, another... Hi, Senor Lowe. Another Twitch baby. Man, so much child support. Senor Lowe, thank you for the resub. Nine months. Love and sandwiches to Senor Lowe. How you doing, Senor Lowe? Welcome on in. Electronic is still 20. It's a pay-to-win type game. That sucks. So what kind of stuff, what career stuff, don't mind me asking, like, what What do you... You pay for, like, what, better weapons, or... Actually, the fishing game. Wharf Ace. <laughs> Get a little bit of stress off. Oh, that really was a little bit of stress. Same stuff, different day. I'm looking forward to getting to work two hours early. It's all right. They could. So, but are you saying it's a pay to win game like right now? Ugh, sucky dodge. I'm going to try to get their speed down because of that. They could have changed it over the years. I mean, we were talking about it the other night. Most times, not always, but most often when a game is pay to win, it doesn't get better. Uh, they, they put in more ways to pay. More ways for them to make money. So that's that sucks. I'll give it a look, though. Still with my opinion on it and all that good stuff. <clears throat> Can we kill this, please? Good crit, no bleed. So we will kill it this round as long as he hits. I ain't really gotten many of the C words in this dungeon. Don't say anything. A couple times. Got her. Uh, we can stun this one. Good crit. That's worth stunning thing. Conches? Yeah. Haven't been many conches in this, in this dungeon. Surprisingly, because we're in a cove. Crabs? Yep, yeah, we only had one of those, too. Those are definitely the C-word I'm talking about. Got plenty of Carls, that's true. Two of them. Two Carls. Two Carls, one hallway. When well, it was three or four years ago, you could buy, like, every gun with real money. It's not necessarily bad, though. Gotcha. Interesting. I never heard of it. This expedition at least promises success. Still going well so far. Dungeons being nice to us tonight. Not like last week. Selfish, fearful, masochistic. Morph is dead. 
Another critical scout, another hall battle that we can't pass. So abusive. What a terrible wife he is. <laughs> Did you think it said testicle idol? Can I remember saying that? I know what it's from, though. Another mariner? Whatever a quote, 1600 and something. So if we ever get a poster made with all quotes, they'll have to be really small. I'm talking like size 8 font. Let's go check this curio out. 1616. I'm going to walk backwards so that we don't get a hunger proc and so that uh, we don't spot a battle. Took 20 stress to do that though. Top 100 then. Be okay with that. No morph. Sorry, morph. How's your sister been doing anyway, morph? I don't know if it's weird when I ask that, or if it's like, you know, <laughs> I, I ask it every now and then. I'm always like, I don't know his Carl. I don't know his sister Carl. But anyway, hopefully she's well. Girdle chicken and denim might be 100 just there. <laughs> Carla. That's a third Eerie Coral. I mean, that's not super surprising. We actually haven't run into a ton of Eerie Coral this playthrough either, so. Eradicated. Is there afflictions? Maybe. Because we we had, yeah, we had an Eldritch Altar too, huh? So we, we're going to have gotten rid of four. Carl, Elrak, and Carla. Oh man, Phantasicor. There was one time we did a, uh, a medium dungeon. This was a long time ago. We're talking like six months ago. Uh, I think it was, no, it had to been a long dungeon. We did a long dungeon and there was seven Eerie Coral and five base reliefs. How, you can't, you can't prepare for that much Eerie Coral. So I, back then I used to only bring like four herbs to the cove. And then that's the dungeon that I did that made me start taking a buttload of herbs here because you just never know. I mean, I, I was so upset. We kept running into more Eerie Coral and I was like, no, I did not bring more herb. Decimated. Learn from Count Me Out. Impressive. Always have extra herb on hand. Everyone will proc fresh ones. Yeah, that's what really will happen. Uh, let's get an extra stress heal in. So we're going to kill him slowish, or at least stall out for one round. Um, you know what? We can we can partially stall. As long as she doesn't kill. Destroyed. Thanks, Steven. Be wary. What a pal. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Oh, he's had some on you. Uh how she do what? Alright. Uh Carla. Here you go. With reverse psychology. We've tried that. It doesn't always work. Secret room on the way to the boss. <laughs> the, the RNG gods are being very kind to me tonight. So there's absolutely no way this will be a shambler. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get a new Don Y clip. <laughs> that, would be, that wouldn't be an organic clip. That's why it doesn't happen. So, aha! Reverse psychology works again. All shamblers confirmed. Next dungeon. Now, they only come out when you least expect it. It seems that way. It's got to get room. Well played, sir. Well played. <laughs> Uh, I do a pilot watch. That's a very good point. <laughs> a powerful blow. This is like the best dungeon run we've had. These nightmarish creatures can be. Found. Uh, we can get rid of that for food. This sells for what, like fifteen hundred? I mean, we have one more hall battle. 
What's the chance of that hall battle being a sham 8%? <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna risk it yet. Goes out if you drop something you need, so it feels like Shammer Honey on your mind. I play through to get some trinkets. What's well, a good comp? So I like repose comps really well. So I really like double high woman against the Shambler because if you kill a clapper claw uh through repose, you do not get its um you don't get its stress, right? So having repost up and then hitting in the Shambler will AoE itself to death. So double repost I really like. Another thing I like to hunt the Shambler with, um, which we haven't done in a long time, is actually a Transformed Abomination team. Transformed Abomination with good trinkets will, and with buffs, can just AoE, AoE rake the two uh, clappers down over and over. The thing about it, though, you want to try to get his camping buff, his plus four uh, speed um, so that he will be able to go before them before they get their protection and he can just get, so rake buffs itself and then of course his um, I don't even know if I want to do this his crit buff is also uh, extra damage so he can actually just kill the two clappers over and over and then you could just focus your other people on the shambler that works really well too you can do the same thing with the leper if he has enough accuracy and if he stay, if you can get him to be in the front during the Shandler fight. Um, so we're going to do 10 dodge, 5 crit, and then 8 crit, it landed. This is so risky. 23% crit. It's a food kind of camp skill. What? <laughs> Okay, one in three chance to get 19 man motion. We did. This This shuffle isn't too bad. Um, the downside to this shuffle, though, is that our man at arms won't be able to attack to help kill the thrall right off. Uh, and neither does the Howlmaster. Dark side took over. Get ambushed from camp with a Shambler. I don't think so, Morph. I've never had it happen, uh, and I've never heard of it. But I, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. But I don't. I don't think so. God, wouldn't that be a surprise? The blood quickens. <laughs> wake up! Wake up! What? What is it? Behold the infinite malignity of the stars. It's like, whoa! What a wake up. Dodge. Just wants a hug. <laughs> yes, but it's a malignant hug. Give him hugs. I was just gonna use ceremonial cut. We'll just kill the wide mouth. Screw it. Dodge. Intel's for fighting Lady Butterfly. Sure. So if anyone that doesn't want Sekiro spoilers, um mutes if you don't want to know strategies for lady butterfly two main things big time zombie and i've gone back and beat her off stream uh on a new play file two main things one if you hit her when she's in the air with your shuriken it makes her fall down now not when she's on the like uh the rope itself but as she's jumping up to the rope or when she's jumping from one rope to another if you hit her with a shuriken she'll fall and when she falls she's sort of dazed in a way for like a second so you can get a combo in um, the second thing is on especially on her a lot of bosses are like this a lot of things in the game but it's actually good to be really offensive if, if you listen or and you and you watch her as you're doing your combo there is a there's a moment when she gets a perfect parry and it sounds different it sounds much more like a sword clanging against metal than her blocks do when she does that she has an attack that hits back faster than you can hit back. So if you just press the attack button into her over and over, and when you hear that move, hit your uh, block, and then go back into your combo, or the other thing she does from it is she jumps from there up to the, the ropes, and that's when you throw your shuriken. Um, 
Now, as far as like phase two specifically, you can do the same thing. And if you are fast enough, you can make it so she doesn't even spawn the other uh, ghosts. If you do get to the point where she spawns the ghosts, you can... You can run around, just sprint around because you don't have stamina. And wait until they're about to shoot at you. And then run sort of towards them instead of away. Like, not straight on, but like angled towards them and they usually don't hit you. I don't know if that helps, Big Time Zombie. Those are the biggest tips that I've developed through fighting her a couple times. Can't be Shambler anymore. Read that in a patch note. We'll come get this secret room after the boss. Hey Dizio, how's it going? Haha, <laughs> Atlantically. <laughs> Hey, Jaso. 194 life and batch gather your Rita. I haven't played it in a while. 2015? Favorite campsite? Whoa. Oh, thank you, Pilot Wash. Yes. Wash, thank you. Let's kill the disease carrier first. So I don't know if that helps, big time zombie. But those are the two biggest things that I found. Daily sometimes there's there's a bounty up for it, um, but it wasn't available until tonight, and so I didn't get a chance to accept. You can only accept one at a time. You can only have one in your queue, so to say. And we have that that one. We have a uh, war face or whatever. Okay. I know we've kept things stunned a lot of this dungeon, but it seems kind of crazy. We've only gotten crit a couple times. Work for you. You can actually cheese her. Dodge, attack, dodge, attack. If you want to be super cheesy. That's your war face. Powerful. <clears throat> Yeah, no time. No, no worries, zombie. Um, the first time I fought her, because I was doing everything blindly and I was still playing like I was playing Dark Souls, and I fought her first, I ended up dying 43 times on her, so no shame in dying to her, I don't think. Super cheese. That's really Gouda. So too will resistance. <laughs> Jason. Fought her second, took you 40 to 50. You gotta play the game. Yeah, I, man, like I said, um, Sekiro was hard at first, but fair. But once you learn the combat, it gets to where it's not like super difficult. It's just learning pattern. Like once you learn the combat, the thing about it, you only have to learn one way to fight in Sekiro, right? There's only one weapon. And yes, there are, there's other moves. Um, there's your ninjutsu moves and your other uh, weapon arts and stuff, but there's only one weapon, and that weapon is always going to have that reach. It's always going to have you're always going to have those main attack combos and stuff. You don't have to learn when you get the combat down. It's just learning the couple of boss uh, patterns, and then you're good. Sam, once you get it, the game becomes much easier. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Uh, I'm going to take Blackjack instead of the Stress Heal in case. Uh, he gets plopped out in front for any reason. Shambler and Call of Cthulhu makes Dirks and Shambler look like something out of Little Pony. Really? Hmm. I need to try that out. It's only the way of the blade. All right, let's do it. First veteran boss. 74, 210, 172 games last night. That's good, Grumpy Monkey. Not as good as last time, though. Still good. The aquatic devils have remade the Chandler is, still the rainbows and glitter. <laughs> so the main thing about this is we cannot let our Hellion get taken. So I'm going to guard her. Um, 
I kind of don't want to jump in front of her, actually. My little Cthulhu, Call of Cthulhu stream. I don't, I don't have it. I don't even know what, what kind of game is it. I've heard of it, but I haven't actually looked at it. Did crits? Uh, <laughs> oh, he resisted that 70% resist. First person horror, gotcha. That would be a good October stream. Bulwark's annoying, it can throw kind of a wrench into this a little bit. Okay, taking the Vestal, that's okay. Hmm. I kind of do want to stun him. We we have to give our Hellion the best possible opportunity to do damage every round. The zoo and saw a baguette in a cage. The zookeeper said it was bred in captivity. <laughs> hey, Jeep, how's it going? Wait, I have a question. This this reminds me of something. Nice, Hibiel. <laughs> Did you guys know there's an entire online community where people staple or nail bread to trees and take a picture of it? You guys know about this? Has the internet gone too far? <laughs> Should we just reset it? Are the jokes any better? They're always good. No, never too far. <laughs> Bits where it's not that scary. It's really atmospheric, though. You know about that? Have any of you participated? The only bridge too far is the one not crossed. I doing carnage. Keanu face deep. <laughs> uh, all right. Welcome back. See so if we can stun her. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly Dante. appreciated. Oh, we moved her way further back than I wanted. Ugh, double crit. Dante, they were the resub. Ten months. Ten months. Love and sandwiches to Dante. Dante. Thank you for all the support. Whoa. Oh, she crit healed herself. Yay. <laughs> this is the best enemy we've ever fought. Um, uh, thank you, Dante. How are you doing, Dante? Generous bestowal. <laughs> Dante, thank you for the 100 bits and for using the bleed purple. Um, good. Dante, thank you for the bits. Appreciate that too. For anyone that doesn't know, if you use bleed purple when you give bits to any channel right now, uh, Twitch matches 10% and gives that additional amount to the streamer at no extra cost to you. Thank you for using that, Dante. <laughs> we have such a dodge stack. Is the Vestal being taken best possible outcome? I think so. And we have such a high dodge stack now on it, on our... Uh, we're dodge tanking, basically. We have 99 dodge. Ooh, resist. How are you this evening? Hey, Meta, welcome back. Doing all right. But what alien bleeds purple? Grape ones. I feel like I I know of an alien that bleeds purple. So basically, how dodge works in this game is everything in the game has every move in the game has an accuracy number. So it subtracted from that accuracy number. So for instance, we have 82 dodge. Let's say for ease' sake, the the siren has a hundred accuracy on her move. We have. Uh, and if she has 100 accuracy, she gets 5 hidden accuracy. Okay, let's say she has 95 accuracy. And she gets 5 hidden. So total, she has 100 accuracy. We have an 82% chance to dodge. So it's just dodge minus... Or uh, dodge taken away from accuracy of whatever's hitting the person that's trying to dodge. But it can only go to 95%. So the enemy will always have at least a 5% chance to hit. Hopefully that makes sense. Dodge. What alien does bleed purple, Jaso? Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pit of battle. So we have camping buff dodge, we have some dodge trinkets, we have him dodge stacking. 
so we should dodge most of this. We have like a probably 90% chance to dodge that move. It's working out pretty well. I mean, she crit us twice, but we're still in pretty good shape. Hot for a second. That's where they get you, Ignu. That's what makes her a siren. Inspiration. Hey, Silver Lurker, welcome in. Oh, she actually got him? Surprising. It's alright, though. I think she's already dead. Second is all they need, yes. Could resist. Hey, veteran siren done. No shambles. <laughs> Was she topless too? I don't know. Does that change your opinion? Secret room, never noticed that. I mean, I think I think they are sort of like uh, in a fishy sort of way. In a fishy sort of way. Yes. Ah, uh, glittering gold. 450, um... We're not going to need a blueprint for a long time, so I'll throw that down, actually. Two shoes just joined Team Siren. <laughs> hey, Rob, how's it going? That was a good dungeon. That was, uh, like, an extremely good dungeon. And we got Hell's Hairpin. That was, like, one of the luckiest dungeons I've ever done. Uh, 36,000 golds. Plus Hell's Hairpin. Plus we... Oh. I didn't look at his ex, his uh, resolve level. That's unfortunate. Stress faster. It's fine. Nocturnal. Doesn't matter. Very good run. Very good run. A fresh irritant. The sum. 11.30. Thank you. Memory to me. I would have been annoyed if I opened this and Hell's Hairpin was here this week. After trying to buy it for so long. Time for the courtyard? I think so. If not, then really soon. Depends on what... I, I, I'm probably going to go do this. So here, here's the thing. Anytime that we're offered a, a long apprentice, we should probably do it to push meter. If we have a team that we can do it with. Um, it's the safest way to get us to champion bosses. So I'll probably do that. How do you have so much money? Only like 40 weeks into your run. A couple things. Mexi, one, Blood Moon, you get... A, every every time there's a loot drop, you have a 70% chance of getting an extra roll. So you just get more uh, money on, on Torchless, I mean. So on Torchless, you get an extra loot roll or on Stygian. Um, now, in addition to that, a couple things. One... Uh, I get the bank at week 10. Week 10 is the earliest you can get the the bank. The bank gives you 5% interest on all your gold that you leave behind. And so it starts really racking up money. Now, because I have that, every time I get back, I sell every trinket that we're not going to use. Um, if we're never going to use the trinket, I sell it so that we can get the 5% income off of it. Once a trinket has run out its usefulness, like I'm probably going to start selling books of sanity soon, maybe a leg legendary bracer. Um... I sell them so we can get that 5%. Now, another thing with a bank is that any kind of diseases, like, here, here's a good example. Kaiser has bulimic. Bulimic doesn't hurt us at all, not really. So I'm not going to cure it. But let's say he had something that's really detrimental, like the Black Plague. I still wouldn't cure the Black Plague right now because it, curing anything on a character like that, that and if you're not going to use that character for a long time, when you have the bank is a waste of money. So like if I cured um, the Black Plague and it cost us 2,500 golds, like if I had waited 10 weeks, you know, we get 5% interest on that 2,500 that I haven't spent. So that's another part of it. Um, the other is trying to cure as much as you can in a dungeon. I do a lot of cove runs, usually to try to get rid of negative quirks. Uh, another thing is if you have a character that's about to go up to the next level, 
tier level. For instance, Fluff, excuse me, Fluffkins is going to go to level three right now to remove Cophobe, if we wanted to remove that, is much cheaper than if they get one more experience. One more experience puts them at level three and, and removal is going to be much more expensive. So, I mean, it's a combination of all those things. Using camp skills, yeah, again, like anything you can get rid of in the dungeon. Money spent is not money saved yet. Playing with no DLC at all, no bank. Um, yeah, I mean, you're not going to be able to get as much without the bank, obviously. And you don't need to leave stuff back for interest, Mexi. So if you're not playing with a bank, um, you might want to do some dark runs occasionally. Now, it is a risk. Well, you can cheese a little bit. So every time you go to a dungeon, if you take as many torches as you can buy, and then, like, say you scout a hallway and it has, like, two curios... Uh, like, let's say you have a fight and two curios, right? Do that fight. When you're about to hit the last hit on the last enemy, snuff your torch, and you'll get an extra loot roll. And then leave it out for those two curios, and then light it again before you go into the next room. So you can actually snuff your torch before you loot something, or before you finish a battle, and you'll get extra loot from that battle. Uh, how do you avoid getting the Crimson Curse? We haven't opened the Crimson Court yet. That's the only way, is to not open the Crimson Court or do the Crimson Court missions fast enough to where you're curing it before it gets widespread. So, we're going to open that soon, actually. Alright, so I am going to do this. I'm going to take Snap for sure. I'll probably take Lolek, actually. Ginger or Tet. Tet's going to go to the Croc, so going here would be fine. He's not going to level up, and he's going to get to level 2 for the Croc. That's good. Garth. This should be okay. I crushed, lost 3 level 4s during a swanking fight. Broke your money. Yeah, I mean, the good news is there's no game over, right? You have to grind that back out a little bit, though. But that's one, another good reason to... Uh, so if you're, you're playing that... If you're playing normally, you can level your roster evenly, but also get experience recruits every time you can and then you know occasionally you'll get to recruit level threes which is a lot easier useless that should be sold immediately um there's quite a quite a bit actually like early game especially there's a lot of trinkets that do minus one speed for the most part i sell those right away um but yeah there's quite a few trinkets that i just sell s straight out like, if I'm not using that character in that capacity. For instance, the Occultist Cauldron. The Occultist Cauldron is a good trinket. I'm not really using the Occultist in this run and not that way. So I would sell that right away. Craig. Ahoy. Ahoy, peg leg Craig. Craig, you were the 10 month resub. Love and sandwiches to Craig. Appreciate it, Craig. Thank you for all the support. How you doing, Craig? Craig, Craig, Craig. I don't know why I've seen your name so much. It's just what I do. You're used to it by now, probably. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these in case we run to the Shambler. It's unlikely, but... I might even summon one. If we're feeling frisky. Wait, do you suggest opening the Crimson Court? I usually, in a normal run, open it... Thank you, Ibex. I usually open the Crimson Court in the mid-20s. Um, it, it depends. So, if you don't open the Crimson Court, you are going to have less stress healing in town. And it also covers up any town events other than quest-rewarded town events. So, if you don't mind those things, then you can postpone it for a very long time. But what I usually do is I postpone opening the Crimson Court until... I have at least a full team of level 2s that's good at the first Crimson Court level. They're fully upgraded. That way I have the best possible chance to overcome the croc without many problems. Now, the other thing I like to do is usually have a team that's already ready for the Baron or close to the Baron. That way, if we start getting a lot of curses right after I um, open the court, we can uh, you know, just go in and, and clear out the Baron as well. Battle Thug heading out. Oh, after this run. Gotcha, gotcha. Metal Thug. If you end up heading out before that. Either way, have a good night, Metal Thug. 
All right, let's do it. So now your sub date and anniversary date are off. Hmm. Did you ever get a gift sub? I don't know if that screws with it. How'd the undies hold up? Pretty well, actually. Pretty well. Um, I have them in the wash at the moment and the socks in the wash. So I'll let you know how they hold up through that. That's the big thing. Do they still feel good after you wash them? A lot of things don't. But yeah, so far so good, Ivex. Thanks for asking. Thank you for asking about my undergarments. Uh, Helomania. Like wearing lotion? I don't know. <laughs> Bid $5. God. I'm trying that gives a bonus stat or damage, but also has a plus 10% stress. I use quite a bit of those. Um... I actually use a lot of those. Cry, I think they're usually worth it unless it's super early game. Because usually, like 10% sounds like a lot, but I mean, if you're playing in normal light, things are going to be doing like what maximum? Like maybe 20 stress. And even though two extra stress, you know, from that 20, it sucks. It's usually worth the, um, the, the trade-off usually worth it because that extra damage you're going to be able to kill the stress caster faster. You're going to end up with less, de less stress overall. So I usually uh, do, but I usually try to offset it. So for instance, our Vestal is using a trinket that gives extra healing, but also 20% extra stress. But then she has another trinket that gives healing and minus 10% stress. So it kind of doesn't quite even out. Um, but it, it's usually worth it as long as you have some way to offset it or some way to heal the stress. We don't have that much to get rid of. I know I check this every week and I'm... Every week I say the same thing. Uh, let's go ahead and finally get rid of soft. Bulimic doesn't matter. Do I like to watch gladiator movies? Yeah. I do. Why do you ask, Mixie? All right, let's do this. Came across a move stone. It's a trinket with a plus between skill move chance. So move chance is this. So Rampart has a knockback. So anything that has a knockback or a pull counts as movement. So if you see something that has movement resist, it keeps you from being pulled and pushed by enemies. If you have something that adds to move plus movement, it adds percentage chance for this knockback or the pull from like the bounty hunter to work. Have I ever been in a Turkish prison? Prison? No. Samara! Hey, Samara. Samara, it's good to see you. Thank you for the resub, Samara. Love and see just to Samara. How are you doing, Samara? How have you been? Sacred Scroll, Junius Head. So, again, healing, it does give us stress. But this one does minus 10% stress. And we have a stress healer. So it should work out. Scouting Whistle. I'm not going to take Overture this time. Because we're in an apprentice uh, ruins, we shouldn't need the extra health. Maximum level reached. Oh my goodness! All the resubs, Snowblind. Thank you for the resub. Tier three, the Golden Sub Club, one of only six members, a very exclusive club. Snowblind, thank you for the resub. Four months, tier three. <laughs> more love, more sandwiches. How does quantum entanglement work? Nobody knows. Been good. How's the health? Doing okay. My health overall is okay. My wife's not been feeling well for a while, though. Thank you for asking, Samar. How you doing, Snowblind? Only tier three for only three months. Yes. Only. Thank you again. I'm a scouting trinket. Um, no worries. On one character and another, do they stack? Yes, they in, they do they stack. It's all stacking. Um I don't know, we don't have a lot to put on here. Maybe I will give him extra health. I mean, I guess it's just 
We might as well, right? Yeah. I mean, it's it's an apprentice, but we could still lose on an apprentice. All right. Yeah, it all stacks together. What's my favorite number from 222 to 872 and why? Hmm. Hmm. Let's go with 227. Why? I don't know. I have to work the later shift tonight. Stepping down soon, though. Um, stepping down, you mean like relinquishing current position or is stepping down from the job as a whole? Don't want me asking. Buy a golden sub, sounds people eat. Gold is soft. Dad, it tastes as good as bread. <laughs> Maybe it's gold toasted. Golden brown. 27 used to be a TV show? I don't know. Oh, crap. We haven't had that up there all night. Hey, we hit sub goal. <laughs> Suncloak, this is a torturous run. Because the the Crimson Courts, uh, the Farmstead, and Darkest Dungeon 4 all count as radiant light. You can't make it less. State Highway, that's one of the most beautiful drives you've ever had. We're going to 360. Three weeks down. Sorry, Pineapple. Thank you for the lurk, though. So food, shovels, curio interaction, uh, upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp, upgrades, trinkets, skills. Need to upgrade that. Crap. That's why we do the mantra, though. Camping, upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping. All right. It's wrong, we quit stiffing glue. That reminds me, I haven't watched Always Sunny in a long time. <laughs> Alright, all the food, stack shovels, four holy waters, four herbs, four keys. Food, shovels, curio interaction. We already checked all this stuff. All right, let's go do this. Hey, Lightning, I think we're on like 36 or something. Dual rate position where you cover for managers sometimes. Also have to cover vacations for other supervisors so you could literally be there any time of any day the way they have it now. Six years, you don't deserve to have to jump around like that. Step it down from the dual rate part. Cover the managers, gotcha. Whoa, that's a long, long dungeon. I mean, I know we're on a long dungeon, but sometimes, I mean, there's there's a there's like a scale of how many rooms Even the a certain dungeon can have. This looks like top end. Endowment. Samara, Samara, thank you for the thousand bits. Oh, no worries, Samara. You don't need to apologize. I mean, trust me. I know life, of course, gets busy, or you know, maybe someone. Uh, is tired of Darkest Dungeon or the stream. Whatever the case may be, Samara. Um, there's never any hard feelings, but, you know, of course, always glad when someone is... Someone is here or someone is back. Anyway, thank you, Samara, for all the bits. Bad dungeon shape. Yeah. Then there's this. Did you kill the stress caster? The wounds of war can wow, that's a long dungeon. Sin is dead. <laughs> that's right, Cry. Uh, let's use a dog tree to get rid of the stress caster, hopefully. Continually onslaught. Destroy them yeah. all. Sorry, still blind. So, I mean, you should have seniority over quite a few people, I would think, right? Yeah, we're in the late 30s, yeah. Thank you, Pilot Wash. How are you doing, Lightning? What are they putting dodge treats in the 1800s? That's a good question. 
confidence. So you guys have been particularly brutal against tonight? To see multiple deaths? Yeah, it was really crazy last week. That was a Saturday night, wasn't it? Where we had something like 10 people almost in a row die. It's insane. Except for one. Until raise well. Gotcha. Seniority, that is. Alright. He's stunned. Um, there's no need for us to stall out, though. I mean, we have five stress. Um, I might... Their formation yeah. is broken. Maintain the hey, version three, how's it going? Seven or nine hours. Thank you, version three. Seize this it's nice. He died twice Saturday. Yeah. On to the task's end. Um, we have such a long dungeon. Like I, it's. It kind of sucks to loot this, right? In a way, but it's not like this has any better or worse chance than if I loot something with a key later on. Aside from a secret room. But a map. How far will it go? Go, go, go. No. Oh, what does Lolek have? What, what you got going on, Lolek? Obsessed with killing. So these, we got lucky, but uh, Obsessed with killing can auto react with these, like a 60% chance, I think. But they can give claustrophobia, and claustrophobia is one of the unassumingly worst negative traits in the game. Claustrophobia gives you 20% uh, additional stress from all sources while you're in a hallway. Like, from a hall battle, from a trap, from anything. Walking stress. There's a lot of people in that position. Don't want to do it anymore, I gotcha. Um, did it seem like it was a problem with them, or were they fine with it? Um, doesn't matter which one we kill. Another backtracking, yeah. Cleansed from our lands. Hey, British rat, how's it going? Oh, by the way, um, I'm finally, finally putting my other monitor above this one instead of to the side. So it's going to take... I'm going to do that tomorrow if everything goes correctly. So a long time ago, months ago, the slow death. Rob John decided... It's a regular here for those of you that don't know. Decided, hey, I'm going to buy Adam something from his w stream wish list. So he bought me a monitor stand. And then I had to return it. And then I got a different one. And then I've just not installed it. And it's been months, so I feel bad about that. But anyway, I'm finally going to do it, and uh, it's going to take a lot of getting used to. I'm wondering if I'm going to miss more chats for a while, or if it's going to make it easier. Give them no In a color. galaxy far, far away. It looks like the future, but it's really not, because it was a long, long time ago. Let's put that down. Exactly. Finally, finally, finally! Or just finally, finally? No, three. Fruit everything. <laughs> Really go into didn't come to vent just to chill. Oh yeah, no worries. I was on. Glad to see you back. Trip safe. Thanks, don't mind. No worries. You know, you know the not really rule, but you know the ordeal here. If you want to talk about something, by all means. If not, that's cool too. So I'm camping mainly for inventory space, but also for some buffs. We're gonna do the thirty percent scouting. Uh, long dungeons always have a secret room, so I'd really like to find it. Uh, there's not a whole lot to do with camping with this team, to be honest. Like, we can reduce our incoming stress, I suppose. I can prevent nighttime ambush. This also gives an extra chance to surprise monsters. Um, yeah. I guess I'll just reduce our stress. Uh, our incoming stress. That's fine. The less, the less often our Houndmaster has to use his stress heal, the more we can use him for damage anyway. So it'll should work out for the better. Houndmaster has the most trap disarm rate in this team, especially with his whistle trinket, scouting, trap disarm trinket. Set up to the side, yeah, I will be looking like this. 
Should be interesting. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Hey, K-Pack. How's it going? K-Pack, I still owe you a whisper. I'm sorry. The last few days have been crazy. That's other people stumbling across it on SoundCloud. Take it down. Since I oh, um, I didn't download it. I've listened to it and I let my wife listen to it too, Snowblind. But I didn't download it. Do you need me to download it? I'll do that. Um... One sec. Where's my paper? I know there's paper somewhere. Jesus. It's like everything on my desk aside from paper now. So you can't. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make a reminder. It says download Snowblind. Not a big deal. Oh yeah, but I'll do it. I'll do it off stream. Get tired though. You need to sleep enough, you think? When you have time. Thank you, Kpec. Stun the stress caster. Position three instead of four, which is nice. Feedback is positive. That's good. <clears throat> no, mine is too. I want to. Um, like we already talked about, um, split up how often the voice over, I guess you would call it, is in the beginning, and then um, sub in our own that um, the channel got me for my birthday in place of, of some of those. And uh, other than that, I think it seems good to me. I, I didn't uh, test out how loopable it was, if that makes sense. I know I mentioned something about that. Did it seem like it kind of looped into itself fairly decently? I mean, I should try that. For the notes? Okay. Yeah. I feel bad that I haven't sent you. I'm sorry. Good reason, though. Alright. I'll try it out. I'll try that out specifically, too. Um... I got a heal here. I was hoping that I would kill the stress caster with the Vestal. But I couldn't risk yet. He would have went exactly to Death's Door. So no worries. Already. As the I'll definitely get to it though. A faint hope blossoms. I think I want to self heal. Ooh, 10 crit. Definitely the right call. <laughs> and dodge too. Oh, this is going to count as a stall big time. Stupid corpses. It's alright though. Stalling one round won't do anything. Uh, we don't need to heal, just put some more damage in. A devastating blow. Uh, light three altars and all three quest locations are within seven tiles, two rooms. Remind that always feels good because then... I mean, if you wanted to get in and get out, obviously, but also, like, you can just explore the rest kind of with impunity, right? Like, if something goes badly, you just run away and you don't have to worry about it. You very completely quest. It doesn't happen often, but it is pretty cool. And then, and then on the flip side of that, you occasionally get those, like, oh my god, they spawn in the exact opposite split corners of the map. So we don't absolutely have to go up here. I'm going to, though... Um, I guess there's no super good reason. I'm just going to. Last hallway, yeah. You get two early on, and then the last one is in the last room. That way you have the burden of having your inventory taken up for much of the dungeon. Without Singular the strike. bonus of completing the qu quest quickly. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the dog treat. Like, I usually try to keep it for stress casters, but if I don't use it now, we're probably gonna throw it down after this battle. Can you take the quest items off after fleeing? No, unfortunately. That'd be really nice, though. This is my favorite game. No, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I I mean, it's one of my favorite games. It's probably in my... I don't know, maybe my top ten. Join us but it's not my absolute favorite. Master. 
Snowblind, thank you for gifting Jaso Man. Subscription to the channel. Thank you, Snowblind. I appreciate it. Um, more love, more sandwiches to Snowblind. Jaso, welcome to the sub club. No more ads for you, my friend. Plus, you can spread love and sandwiches and, you know, gasms if you're into that sort of thing. Anywhere you want on Twitch. Chats for your games. Madam must play. Ooh. Why are you at top 10? It's hard. Um. A generous bestowal. Dante! Dr. Thing for the 400 additional bits. Plus the bleed 40. I mean, the, pl the bleed purple, which gave an additional 40. Thank you, Dante. Quad dodge. Quad donation. Quick, guys, dodge more. No. Dante, thank you. Um. What, Metal Thug? All your gasms are belong to us. Top 10 games. It's hard. One thing that makes it difficult is like my top 10 favorite games to play now aren't necessarily my top 10 all time favorite games. A lot of the games that are in my top 10 of all time are very nostalgic games. So, like Super Mario World, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong's Quest, StarCraft Brood War, like things like that probably dominate a ton of my top like five to ten games um ocarina of time i don't know it would be kind of interesting for me to like sit down and really think out like a top 10 list bloodborne i super love i think bloodborne's in my top 10 probably and that's a more slightly more modern game every time your team gets crit <laughs> we have fast way to drain it at account Hey, Cat. Welcome back. Cat, sorry I didn't reply, reply to you on Sunday. I wasn't really on the computer much Sunday or Monday. How you doing, Cat? The run's going okay. We just got double crit, but alright. Which one of the gifted hentai games make your top 10? Maybe, uh... I, <laughs> I showed my wife the list the other day, and I forgot there was one that's just called Run, Naked Woman, Run. <laughs> I, I have a game in my collection called Run, Naked Woman, Run. Horizon Zero Dawn, another really good modern game. Earthbound, Asteroids Call, Zelda Ocarina of Time. Diablo 2, yeah. Spires 2. It's a hard list. We have a winner. A's up on our top 10. You have a fear. Playing again. I can see that. There are, like, Mario RPG is one of my all time favorites as well. Love that game. Um. I didn't really care for Final Fantasy VIII. It seems like a kind of div divisive game. Um, I don't know. I didn't really care for Final Fantasy VIII when I played it back in the day. I like seven better and nine better. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. What are my D two build builds? You mean like which builds I like best back in the day? Yeah, I think you can't. Hopefully, you and your brother are doing well. 10 is your favorite? I stopped after 9. Still haven't played 10 or beyond. Horizon Zero Dawn made by the PS4. It's a good, it's a, an incredible game. Mario RPG is a great one. Love Mario RPG. I like Gino and Mallow. Until Dawn. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Until Dawn and Bloodborne are three. Uh, amazing reasons in a PlayStation 4. Like all those. Doing, you guys are doing well. Glad to hear, Cat. Played 12, Play Zodiac Age. For a task well performed. It's Mario RPG is fantastic. I haven't played Mario RPG in a very long time. I think I used to do a playthrough of Mario RPG like once every year or two. But I haven't done that in a long time. The cells are 1100. We're very likely to get five Cytrine. Bloodborne, yeah, I love Bloodborne too. What's up, R squared? Love hate game, beat it and hated it. Friend beat. Yeah, same thing, Pones. Same thing for me, absolutely. I think it's very divisive. You're divided. Love or hate? Play through five and six hundred plus times, man. Six is really good too. Birthday on every couple years, still love it. Yeah, so that's that's Mario RPG for me. 
but I haven't played through it now in a few. It's been a few years. Game that makes or breaks it. I can see that. I don't know. Maybe I'd like it better now, you know. That was back when it was newer. Sports ball. Spider-Man was awesome. RPG, maybe that could be a stream thing. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing something like that. I actually thought for the birthday stream that I might do a, uh, like, play a few games that I liked growing up sort of thing. But I ended up doing a community stream instead, which is good. You play it. Uh, the rule is... You can play an emul- it's the same as the legal rules, right? So it's not like Twitch is going to seek you out for it, but the rule of emulators is you are supposed to own the game to be allowed to play the emulator. If Twitch came in and you were playing Mario RPG, you supposedly, if asked, would have to show like that you have it. Now, in reality, does that ever happen? No. But, technically, you're supposed to own the game. You're not allowed to break the law on stream, right? So. Streaming day's gone yesterday. Tune to get it, because it reminds you of mixing between Red Dead and The Last of Us. I've not watched any of it, because I'm tempted to get it as well. Okay, I'm going to throw that side screen down that we just got. It's a long dungeon. Take the Onyx, too. So we're going to have time to get a lot of this stuff. Hmm. Mario 1 and 2. Best Marios. You own Earthbound twice over. You want to hear something tragic? I never finished Earthbound when I was a kid. Don't tell anyone. I, said, I told that someone once... And they were joking, but they were like, you can't call yourself a gamer if you never... It's like, uh, Game was so good. It's been a long time. So I played it at all. I never finished it. Yeah, the guy, the only reason you finished it. I don't remember much about it even at this point. It's not too late to fix that. True. That is true. Soon I'm going to have to start throwing down some things. The Last of Us. I still haven't finished that either. Surprise them, which is good. We'll stun. So the Arbalist can crit quite a bit, even in Apprentice. I mean, it's not as bad in Apprentice, but as we saw early in this playthrough, uh, they can super screw you over. They're like the unofficial stress caster of the, of the ruins. Original was your favorite PS3 game. Oh, I did. I forgot. Was someone asking about which Diablo 2 builds I liked? Uh, not Mexi. You're probably not here anymore, but have a good night. Sorry, missed your goodbye. Draw system 8 made it tough. A long play on a game called Days Gone. It's just that gave you the last of us feels. So I had a question. So those of you that do watch playthroughs on places like YouTube, do you like it more as a uh, mostly quiet playthrough or do you like the person to kind of comment quite regularly as they're going through the game? Because I've seen both types and I, I know kind of which one I prefer. Depends on the type of game. So let's say Phoenix, that you were, for whatever reason, watching a, a full playthrough of, like, Witcher 3. Would you want the person to comment quite... You hate it when they don't say much. More shall gather. More shall enter the fray. Gunner. Gunner, thank you for the host. Appreciate it, Gunner. Welcome on in. Comments are better. Which side of the person, really? Gotcha. For the personality. So I'm kind of that way too, but it's also kind of like Phoenix said, Destroy. depends on the game. Like if I'm watching like a playthrough of like a 2D platformer or something, like a, a non-early story game, like a skills-based platformer game, 
Usually I just like to see how they do it. Cutscenes. Kind of going on, they can talk. Gotcha. YouTube videos that show how to do something or get past X. So you want dialogue on that? Full plays on YouTube. Stream happened. Gotcha. Makes sense. Uh, I'm going to get a stress heal in, hopefully, and then we're going to kill this with the Vestal. Playthrough vids for sociopaths. Carnage. <laughs> So YouTube only watch Let's Play on Twitch. Gotcha. Person tries too hard for the commentary. Talk radio. Just want some nations. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. There, pilot watch. Yeah. Because now every streamer is chilling to have his background noise like Markiplier. Yeah, I understand it too. Background makes you want to kick babies. <laughs> Three jades. So this, I mean, if we get two more jades, it's more than a stack of gold. I'm going to go ahead and throw down the Punishment Hood. Punishment Hood's 1,500 golds, basically, so. We can camp soon again, too. We can actually camp now. We lose our recovery mechanism by camping, but it opens up more inventory space. Eh, we'll wait at least a hallway. It's tiresome when the obvious stayed over and over. Hey, doing, Taco. Welcome in. Small things, and you're good. I know those videos. Would you prefer without commentary? I understand that. Half play throughout, you can listen through without having to see it. It's good. So it seems like most people like a good mix as long as the person that's speaking isn't. As long as it's them that's like chill and voicing over what they're doing without like trying to act so to say uh, those that seem ungenuine and just try to make it so that they say everything hmm this one's stunned but it hasn't taken its action yet I'm still gonna try to kill it is count me out still here I think so yeah there he is good kill very good kill good crit Hey, Manker, welcome back. How you doing, Manker? Soviet 1. Bull playing RPGs or RTSs. I mean, I don't have time to do, like, Let's Play thing videos, like, YouTube exclusive things, but I was just curious what you guys prefer. Back I don't... To the I, mean, pit. I don't watch a ton of them, but... Those that put on a show. Yeah, I'm the same way. Are the ones that... Seems like their audience are probably all eight, so they have to, like yell and scream and overreact about something every like 30 seconds or else they're afraid their viewer will leave. Triumphant pride Streamers that try to mimic the personality of other high viewer count streams just coming up with their own thing. I mean, the thing about it, Cry, I think with... I mean, they can stream however they want, right? But in my opinion, that seems very tiresome to me. It seems like that's gonna cause burnout quicker. And I think it really does come off as ingen um, or not genuine, you know? But, uh, I mean, people can do what they want as long as they're not hurting anyone, so to say. I'm, I'm in that kind of... In that kind of camp. But, uh, speaking of camps, let's camp. But yeah, I just think there's... there's those people are probably going to burn out really quickly by trying to put on a show that's not... And I don't mean put on a show as, like... Like turning yourself up to eleven, you know that that's I can, I can see that. That's all right. That makes sense. But uh, trying to act completely like someone you're not, I don't know how long that can really work. Of course, then you look at people like that ninja guy, who made millions of dollars out of it. So I don't know. What do I know? Cry. Uh, I'm gonna still do scouting, prevent time time ambush, <laughs> and we're gonna reduce stress. I just streamed, stuck around, didn't have a shtick, just hung out and chills. I think you probably watched. That's the kind of streams I like, so that's just who I am too. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. And I'm gonna go check out these curios. Let's play Final Fantasy Twelve. So it started off something like, "Hello, Wealth beyond let's play Final Fantasy Twelve. By the time you get to the like episode thirty, the fool I hear that one more time." <laughs> gonna die. Oh. 
Finding the stuff is only the first test. So I knew I no idea who Ninja is. Never seen him catch home. Huge Fortnite streamer. Holds like records for number of people watching. No idea. But he, no, I don't. I don't think he. I doubt he hates life. And in fact, um, it seems like he's switching over to more variety stuff now that the Fortnite bubble has popped a little bit. Um, he's acting more like he did back in the day, instead of doing a, putting on a show sort of thing as much. So, I don't know. Imagine if I screamed every time I crit. <laughs> I need not work. Oh, I'm sure, yeah, you could radio. It's unreal. I mean, when you think about it, um, imagine how much a huge company spends on advertising, right? Imagine a huge game company like, uh, I don't know, one, one of the, the heavy hitters, right? Like, imagine Activision or something, for instance. Imagine how much they pay on advertising on, like, banner ads and Google keywords and stuff like that that never... And they never get, uh, like, a huge percentage of that in front of people. So, once these streamers get to a certain point, like, they are offered ungodly amounts of money for, like, streaming a game for, like, an hour or two. I'm not talking about bounties. Bounties are a lot of money for big streamers, too. But, I mean, like, I some of the big streamers will talk about it. And they'll get paid, like, to play a mobile game for an hour... They'll get paid like thirty or forty thousand dollars. So yes, these big streamers are making ungodly amounts of money. Um, so as far as them being able to like retire and do like whatever they want or whatever, invest only. I'm sure a lot of them could really do that no problem. Up to probably hates Hearthstone. Let's see that. Precision. So they have a bunch of users. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The blood We're not made a ton off. Yeah, exactly. So. And people... It's like... Advertising in general... Like, companies spend many, many, many millions. So, to be able to get, like, their video or their game played directly in front of an audience that they're trying to reach... Um, they pay a bunch of money for that. So... All these big streamers that do those sponsored games and stuff, absolutely, they could just invest and be like, well off forever. 50k a month, yeah, it's insane. Cat, yeah, the Don Y clip. That's one of our most famous clips. It's one of my favorites. There's a bunch of sponsors who do it all at once. Yep. Crazy, crazy. But anyway. You only know of Dark's Dungeon. Hey, Grumpy Monkey, how's it going? I mean, I know you've been here, but... <laughs> not sure why I said how's it going. Grumpy Monkey, how are things? Have they changed in the last hour or so? Get my hourly Grumpy Monkey update. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can um... Do I want to throw down the herbs? So that clip, not too long after the super secret Discord was set up. Oh, really, Morph? <laughs> How does the mind of a hentai game collector work? Naked anime women everywhere. Every, as we've determined before, when we were talking about... Um, what was what, what did I say? Like, the other night, I was like, you know, I never looked at Minesweeper and was like... I think, there, I think that might have been quoted. Did we quote... Did you quote the Minesweeper thing? Family doing, hope they're on the road to healing. Thank you, Polly Wash. My wife's still really not too great. Um, but thank you for asking, Polly Wash. We did. There we go. So, yeah, I've never, like, looked at Minesweeper and was like, you know what would make this better? Everything uncovered was uh, naked anime girls. So, Rakes, if you want to get to the mind, have a mind like a hentai collector. That's the kind of way you have to start thinking. Everything that you you see, you have to think of a way to improve it by through hentai. Everything that you see, think about how it would be better if you could include hentai into it. That is that is how you think that way, Rakes. <laughs> I 
Um, man. I mean, it's only a side tree at this point. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. Hit to IDD skins. Some people don't. I just undid Millennia of Tradition in like three sentences. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was faced the 2D Wi Fi face. Stream approved? Yes. Is that just your stream library, Jeffin? For now. Those do already exist, yep. We've used some. Why is the stream always about hentai? You just always come in during the hentai parts. I do tech. <laughs> the transition for making a boatload of money into that. So this can actually kill our team. Um, unless we just kill. So the spitters are the deadly ones. Weber's mark and then spitters do huge damage to mark targets. So we need to either kill both Weber's or both spitters first. I think it's better to kill spitters as long as we can reach them. Good news is both of our marked people have our higher health pools. So even if we don't kill here, probably okay. That asked about hentai and showers me on the regular. That's right, but I'm not an anime babe. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> what a quote. More gold. Uh, I want to throw down the herbs. That way we can so too will resistance. spawn curios that would need the herbs. That's how it works. We actually can start getting rid of some food. I'm going to check those curios. Sin, why? Why, Sin? Um. Hmm. I want to pull off Miracle with regards to that. Lydia versus everything. A generous bestowal. Dante bits for an anime girl wig. Oh god. Dante leave with her bits. I don't know. So this has a like 30% chance to get rid of a negative quirk. Or can give a buttload of stress. They can heal their own stress though. Screw it. Let's try it. Hey, buttloads of stress. Good good times. God, 3D anime model. We have that, uh, we got it in a humble bundle. Oh, God, before I even started really streaming full time, we got it in a humble bundle like maybe two years ago. That face rig program. Do you guys know of that? I have face rig. They have anime girls on there. You guys know it? Darkest Dungeon mod run. We almost accidentally did that once before, Cry. It wasn't very popular. We refer to it now in hindsight as Anime Wednesday. You know the program, I should do it. <laughs> no. Yeah, there we go. We don't talk about Anime Wednesday. If only the doge Tet is crease. Yeah, it is, Tet. My, my daughter, we got it mainly corruption. in a bundle because my daughter liked playing with the face rig thing. Anime Wednesday. Must green, uh, yeah, that's part of it. Muscarine, and there were some others too, though. Hey, look! You can you use herbs on this for guaranteed loot? We threw our herbs down, though. Sounds like your kind of day. <laughs> Got two shovels left. Do I want to look at that curio? We didn't find the secret room. I mean, we didn't really. St Scout too much over here. Not critical, anyway. Most of this was re or revealed by map. So, at least we know we can use the keys now, or the key. We can also go up here, because we don't need the shovel. Uh, we don't need to go that way, anyway. Bookshelf, we're not going to use that.
limits on the one specific thing to play or do. Is your wheel? Do you want? To, how did the wheel thing work out? Did uh, did you end up sticking with what the wheel landed on for a while? It's better when it was about fried egg nibble t-shirts. Oh, we talked about Team Brian earlier, Ted. Talked about Team Brian. Yeah, I still need to get that t-shirt, though. Do you think they sell Dream Daddy shirts like that? A fortune waiting to be spent. Uh, there's no curio in that room, so... I guess we're going to end up spawning extra battles. Yeah. Hopefully. Got interrupted by a couple things. Team Brian was the only real team. Don't you want to lay down with a giant teddy bear every night? Team Brian. Uh, I'll put damage in, hopefully. So the Madman has a chance to drop one of three very rare trinkets. We have one of them already. Uh, I don't think I'd use Arya's box at this point, but if we got Crescendo, I might use it. Crescendo is probably my favorite one. We, we have Overture already, which is the dodge one. Dodge and health. Brian. Hmm... We could have probably killed there, but I'd rather stun here, I believe. That way we prevent him from stunning us. Uh, D. Padai. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. You can let me know if I'm butchering your name. I'll try to get it right moving forward, though. If you want. Masterfully executed. No game spoilers. No, I'm going to make a comment there. All these dodges, man. So he's going to go down to eight. Oh, my lord. It's better gadget. I never have to worry about counting me out spoiling things for me. So I'm going to extend this a little bit, but kill the stress casters. We miss those so much. I heard Penny gets kidnapped. I think they're introducing some guy with a cat to the show, too. Guess who about that? Dumbledore? I don't remember a character in Inspector Gadget named Dumbledore. Could be wrong. Rose lets go of Jack. What a jerk. Never did trust that Rose. Aerie. Aerie was a wit wizard. Death Ugh, 16 crit. For the slightest lapse in concentration. If this keeps going, we won't be able to do additional battles. There we, there we go. That's what we didn't want to happen. So now not only is our Crusader stunned, but our, um, our Abomination is in a spot where he can't attack from unless we transform. He's got too much stress to really transform. My man made your Hound Master actually bad, so you couldn't hit him. Well, I mean, it wasn't just our our Hound Master that was missing him either. The, the Overture is only a minus two accuracy. The Madman is just a little bit slippery either way. Yeah, that didn't help for sure. Got it. That's the mantra of hold the door. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, I know Phantasm, no worries. Definitely didn't help though. Bruce Wayne Superman? Explains so much. Well, this turned around really fast. This very last dungeon. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. <laughs> Need a bigger boat. Is 
Is that why the Titanic sunk? Iceberg shaped like a shark. Um. A it's gonna be a. Abatement. This is gonna be a stall round. Jump in front. It is. I wasn't sure I never finished the movie. No, actually, I ended up seeing the stupid. Ti oh god, I, I stalled, but. I ended up seeing Titanic in theater. I was not. I was not happy about it. Shark shaped like an iceberg. <laughs> oh god. I just thought about a movie that I haven't thought about in a long time. Crap, what's the name of it? Hot Shots? Do you guys remember Hot Shots? And Hot Shots Part 2. I have no idea why I just remembered that movie. Holy crap. I haven't thought of that movie in forever. Sure do. Such a dumb movie. <laughs> Mountain Blade War Band Go. Oh, did you see the new game? What is it called? Mord Mordow? Mord Mordhow? Something like that? Have you seen that, Hytella? It kind of looks like that to me. Uh, combat wise. Sanic the movie. At least promises success. I really thought of it. I, I'm guessing that's why I'm thinking of it now, yeah. Charlie when he was somewhat sober. Charlie's amazing. By amazing, you mean amazing teeth. Part duh, like a day ago on Hulu. <laughs> I haven't seen those in so long. Um, I think we'll still go do an extra battle or two. I watched the Sonic movie trailer, but then I, uh, excuse me, me and my wife watched it, but then I think I erased most of it from my brain. Aside from uh, Jim Carrey. Charlie Sheen? I believe so. Good choice. Thought so. Do you think it was all a marketing stunt? Do you guys think it was a marketing stunt? They already had like another Sonic in reserve, so to say. And they put out the terrible one and they were like, they got all this buzz and anger and hate towards it and they're like, oh, don't worry. We're gonna do, do it right. We're gonna redo it all. We're going to spend millions to redo this. Maybe millions. I don't know how much. Hundreds of thousands to redo this part of the movie. Um, in order to make the fa make things right for the fans. They had it ready all along. Oy vey. Jim, Yeah, Jim Carrey was the only good part of the trailer, I think. Did look really creepy. Yeah, I saw someone edit something into it, too. So these can give disease, but they don't always drop loot. Uh, in Zero Light, there's a 70% chance maggots drop loot. So all risk for little to no reward. Possible to remake that much in so little time. Yeah, it seems weird to me. The bad acting of Jim Carrey, what? <laughs> Those are the parts I liked. Yeah, but it could work, Cookies. I mean, uh, they they say that no press is bad press, right? But who knows? My experience most people are not smart enough to come up with something that complicated. It's more likely that someone was a moron. Someone was being manipulative. Yeah, I mean, usually that's the whole... Uh, um, Generally, the simplest explanation is the correct one, right? Oh, she resisted one. She resisted the disease. Hooray. We can actually just squeeze in a stress heal here, as long as our Crusader doesn't miss this attack. Fan base. Hey, look at all that gold. We still have more food? cookies
<laughs> yeah, I mean, probably it's not a marketing stunt, but that would have been, that might have been a good one. Um, God, we have so much food left. Like, we might as well stay here until we get loot to fill up those two spots. <sighs> Freaking maggots. This is only three this time. Hopefully we can kill all three before... ...they get any attacks in. Okay, it bleeds good. A death by inches. All right. So I'm gonna try to spawn some battles. We have, let's see, one provision and then a 750 golds, 250. So if we can replace those with almost anything else, going back into a room that we've already or a hallway that we've already been into. Has a chance to spot a trap, as we just see twice, that we've seen twice. Um, a battle or hunger proc or nothing. I guess I should do this one now, since we know we have less chances of battle spotting there. Hey, a battle. This one can be pretty bad. Like, this team's not great here because, again, we get point blank shot, which knocks our Crusader back, and then our uh, Abomination can only self heal from there or transform. Just crit. Just crit. So I'm going to try to stun him. We got two chances. Got it. Got it. What? Kappa Claw still exists? Thought that was a Christmas time only emote. Just crit and dodge, the strategy. Punishment. It's fine. Let's see if we can stun again now. The more often we stun, the less chance he's gonna, obviously, do point blank shot or crit us. Rimworld, we have a bounty. So as soon as this is done, we're doing bounty than Rimworld. I thought this would be done sooner than it was. But uh, that's the that's the schedule. It's a Christmas miracle. The bounty I've never tried before, so I'm interested in seeing it's unfortunately I have to play the version that's on PS4. That was part of the bounty specifics. It is on PC also, but Kind of don't want to kill him yet. Yo, PJ, welcome in. Alright. He's going to bleed and blight out, so we can get probably two more stress heals in. At least that one. Good crit. Good recovery. There we go. There's some... There's some loot. I think I'm going to spawn another battle. We have quite a bit of food. I mean, it's the smart thing to do. Oh, this is the other thing. Uh, they already left, but if anyone else that's new to Dark's Dungeon is, is wondering about ways to get more gold, when you're done with a dungeon, if you're in good shape or decent shape, you can look and however many provisions you have, like we only have a stack of food, um, you want to try to fill those spots with treasure. And you can do that by spawning battles over and over. Now you might get screwed over, you might end up running into a shambler and dying or getting a bunch of stress or running into a madman and not being able to kill it and getting afflicted or whatever. But a lot of times it's worth the extra, um, extra risk, as long as you start in good shape. A dizzying blow Comes the crits. It's all right. We'll get we'll get a virtue. It'll be cool. You guys remember the virtue on Saturday night? I called the virtue and the exact one it would be. Good times. Um, let's stun him. But anyway. Usually it's worthwhile.
Uh, we just need to do five. So look, how much is this doing right now? Six will do two. Quite a bit of stress. I think I'm going to. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. These these guys obviously can crit. They already crit us once. They also put a debuff on for additional stress. But I think I'm going to actually just stress heal for now, since there's three mobs, or at least on a crusader. So there's three mobs. They can't call in reinforcements. I don't know. She might afflict. Plus we can kill here. Five to eight. Ugh. So I need to move him forward, I think, so she can... It's a little late for that, though. It's 97 stress. 97 stress. It's a lot of stress. Hopefully the loot that we get from this battle is worth it. Alright. 25% chance for virtue. Basquistic, the best of virtues. Those who covered injury. Now it's dead though. No short supply. Bad. Sucks. But like I said, as long as we get enough from them to pay for this, plus some, it's still worth. Still worth. We can kinda kill slowish here. Get her back down a little bit. Oh, we didn't get the stun. Good dodge though. Which ones do we need for the croc? Garfield and Tet. So those are the ones most important to get our stress down for the end of this. Right, Delta? Senior low, powerful. Delta, abusive. So I'm gonna kill them slow-ish. It's a risk, of course. Come on, Vestal. Oh, and it resisted with a 25%. And the stress heal missed the main person I want to stress heal. So our Crusader and our Houndmaster are going to end up going against the Croc, which we might do on the next week of this. So they are the most important to come out of here with low stress. It's not looking great, though. Hmm. One hit. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Got our second hit, so they won't call in reinforcements. We're down to what? We could crit. Down to 41. 41 and 28. 4 to 7. Oh, wait. God, she had to move forward. Oh well. Alright, let's see where loot is. What do we get for all this trouble? Not really worth. Oh well. Usually worth, like I said, but not this time. Um, Alright, we'll go home. But we did get another battle before that too. It wasn't just that battle. So, we got enough to pay for her. Um, stress to go down plus a little bit. Walls of our ancestry are beginning to feel Four. familiar. So after we sell trinkets, we got probably like what, 34, 33,000, something like that. Paranormania really sucks. Slow draw sucks. Fairweather fighters get pick up on Tet. Like Phoenix, yeah, we really need to get going. I, that took a lot longer than I thought. A fresh irritant to some. A sanguine memory to me. All right. The stream is not over. That's not what I mean, though. If anyone was a winner, let me check something really quick. Almost done. Almost done. Nap time, cookies thing ringing out. Have a good night.
Good nap. Okay. 